Welcome to the Bravery Arcade. My name is Nolly Marv. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Now, uh... I wasn't even going to stream tonight. After I beat Final Fantasy VII, I said to myself, what the hell, what the hell can I stream now? I had no idea. I have no idea. I had no idea what, what I was going to stream. Shout out to Taco coming up with the idea for Emulator Madness and doing a, I guess, hidden gem spotlight thing. I wasn't even going to stream. I'm still in shock. <laughs> I was gonna watch The Sopranos all night. I'm still in shock by the ending of Final Fantasy VII. Hey, uh, Jesse, can you give me can you give me a hope? My hope will never die. If Jesse's still here, bravery up. You know what I mean? Bravery up. Bravery, 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 bravery up. We're doing Emulator Madness. We haven't done it in a while, right? It's been it's been, it's been a little little little, little minute. Since we've done, uh, you know, Emulator Madness. It has been a little minute. Uh, to be honest, and honesty is my best policy. I'm still recovering from the ending of Final Fantasy VII. The, uh, yeah, I'm still in recovery mode. But essentially what I'm going to do tonight is do, uh, I guess... Hidden gems on on emulator madness night like hidden gems on each console that probably probably very few have played and uh, that probably deserve a little more love from people you know games that deserve a little more love but uh, I'm gonna do one per console one per console of the console that I, I I've only halfway decided on all the games. So when we get to some consoles, I don't have any idea. I know what I play first. I'm gonna play Vector Man on the Genesis or Mega Drive. If you guys are overseas, um, is it hidden? Is it a hidden gem? I mean, I don't know. I know that uh, it's not spoken about enough nowadays. But Vector Man was an amazing game for its time. On the SNES, I have an idea what to play. On the 64. On the PlayStation, on the PlayStation, I definitely, Taco has entered the Bravery Arcade. You guys said he wouldn't make it, and here he is. <laughs> Shout out to Taco. If it wasn't for Taco, I wouldn't even stream tonight. I was going to watch The Sopranos all night. I just saw that it's on Hulu, and I was like, oh, Sopranos. It takes place in Jersey. I'm going to watch it because it takes place in Jersey. But, uh... Uh, Taco has some good ideas, you know, some emulator madness, hidden gems. I have half of the games selected in my head. I might forget by the time I get to the console. I'm going to do like one per console. Yeah, I'm going to do like one per console. So for like the SNES, the Genesis, and like, uh, I'm here the GameCube. I, I kind of have it selected in my head already. Um... On the Genesis, I was almost going to go Dick Tracy because Dick Tracy seems to be making a comeback. I hear him mentioned a lot on um, social media and jazz. So I think Dick Tracy is going to make a comeback. So I was going to play Dick Tracy game. Then I thought about it. Um, I think Vector Man needs a little more love. I've been working on my second one-man D&D campaign. Less homebrew, more Dragon Quest than Final Fantasy. I thought you gave up on the one-man thing. I guess you're trying to balance it out better. But yeah, I... I Maybe you guys can help me pick some games uh, to play, Taco specifically. Because, uh, yeah, I have a general idea of the games we're going to play tonight. General idea. Hidden Gems Night. Um, it's some games I've wanted to stream for a while that I've never gotten the opportunity to. A lot of really awesome games that are forgotten by time. Um, so, we'll see where things go. Hey, uh, you know, I'm giving it one more shot. And also, I'm doing it entirely through text on a special Discord made by my alt account. Shout out to your alt account, man. 
Round of applause for Taco's alt account. But yeah, tonight's gonna be a hodgepodge of random games. Um, we're gonna start with Vector Man on the Genesis. Um, we're gonna do one per console. Shout out to Dragovarian Lancer. He's he's pretty pog sometimes. I've heard of him. I've seen him around. Kind of skeptical about his haircut, but he seems all right in my book. He seems okay in my book, you know what I mean? So uh we'll we'll see we'll see where we get to tonight. Um We'll see how far we go and all that jazz. But uh for the most part, if anybody in the chat has any ideas or any opinions or wants me to play a specific hidden gem, it can't be anything too popular. It can't be like Mario. Marv, you're skeptical about my haircut? I thought you and uh, Dragovarian were different people. You know, Omerta. We gotta honor the Omerta. We can't break kayfabe, uh, Taco. I thought you were the main one that's all about not breaking kayfabe. No, Taco, you as a human being, I dig your haircut, but Dragon <laughs> Drag Dragarian Lancer is my alt name. No, 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 don't break kayfabe. Don't break kayfabe. Uh, taco We got to do it just like how you were doing it with your other account Those are two separate people tacos men and dragovarian lancer are two very different people They may sh they may share the same host body, but They're indeed different people. They're indeed different people um But yeah, dude like uh, like I said I gotta get a better Genesis all I hate that my my Genesis uh, Emulator doesn't go full screen it really bugs me. You guys can see my wallpaper. And it kind of distracts me from the game when I'm seeing my own wallpaper there. But it is what it is. Uh, so it's a Pyra Mithra kind of jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. In wrestling, they say that you cannot break kayfabe. Kayfabe is your, is your wrestling persona. So when you're around fans, breaking kayfabe would be like saying, hey... Uh, you know, The Rock is just a character I play on WWE, but it's not who I really am. Uh, staying, yeah, so you know what kayfabe is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of explaining it for people that don't know in the chat, uh, if there anyone else is even out there. But kayfabe is a, it's a cool concept. I really, really dig that concept. It'd be like, it'd be like, you know, seeing me on the street and calling me by my, my, normal name and not saying Orasama Marv or Gnarly Marv you know uh, I'd go who do you think you're talking to I'm the Braveheart leader so yeah so uh, uh, we don't break kayfabe in the Bravery Arcade we definitely don't break kayfabe uh, in the Mafia they call it the Omerta Omerta is the code of the Mafia that the Mafia doesn't speak about the Mafia so I like both of those terms, kayfabe and omerta. They're very, very cool terms. They just sound cool to say, right? So in, in Bravery Arcade, we have a role where we don't break kayfabe. So never ask me about my personal life <laughs> going forward, because I'm speaking about it now like it's a, like it, it actually exists when it doesn't. But yeah, let's let's start Emulator Madness, man. Let's start off with uh, let's start off with Vector Man, you know. Let's start off with Vector Man. This is a, this is like Sega's answer to Donkey Kong. I guess when Donkey Kong Country came out, it probably had the best graphics anyone had ever seen. And so like, Sega was like, "Yo, we got to make a game with like uh, pre-rendered sprites," because pre-rendered sprites were like very popular when Donkey Kong came out. So this is their pre-rendered sprite game. Which, in my opinion, is a very beautiful looking game. Came out kind of late in the Sega Genesis lifespan. But, or or if you want to call it the Mega Drive. What did they call the, the Genesis in Canada? Did they call it, uh... Did they call it the Mega Drive or the Genesis? Drago, uh... Dragovarian Lancer's gonna DM. 
while I play all four of the party members, just to explain how this second campaign is going to work. Well, I can dig it. Call to the Genesis. Okay, so it's a North America thing to call it the Genesis then. Because even in South America, I think they called it the Mega Drive in South America. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I can dig it. So, yes. Let's start off with one of my favorite Genesis games slash Mega Drive games uh, that... Uh, I think it's underrated. I think it should have made a comeback. But then again, I can't think of a way they could bring it back that would make it cool. I think they, I think they attempted to bring it back during the PS2, and they were like, "This is just going to become another third-person shooter." So let's not think it didn't work out too well when they did it. That's pretty cool music too. You can hear the music here, and it's a. Uh, Pretty, pretty, pretty cool techno-y, German techno type beats in this game. Um, so you can see the story there. It's 2049 in the air cities. Forests and ice caves are fouled with toxic sludge. Humanity has escaped to the stars, leaving mechanical ore bots to clean up. Uh, story takes a while to, to, to lay out I've heard of vector man, but I've never seen the gameplay of it. It's pretty jazzy. It's pretty jazzy It's kind of like Mega Man like a much faster and Snappier Mega Man one powerful Orbot raster oversees the cleanup though a planet-wide comnet through a planet-wide comnet tragedy strikes when an error attendant connects uh, attendants connect a savage nuclear bomb to Raster's master control circuit. Why would they put a? Why would? How could you make that kind of mistake and put a nuclear bomb in a cleanup robot? So this game kind of has a story of like uh, uh, Wally, that that Disney movie. Warhead is born, and he stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression. By Warhead's decree, Earth is forging is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Yeah, this game has like an environmental message and stuff and jazz. So, uh, um, you know, this is a very 90s story. Yo, Big Daddy Alucard here. <laughs> Vector Man lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun unhindered by evil mind control he will not rest until warhead is defeated and the earth is again free so yeah vector man is an environmental type of game it's it's kind of like sega's answer to donkey kong country it has those pre-rendered uh graphics character sprite pre-rendered sprites it's a pretty unique looking game and like I said, it plays kind of like Mega Man. This is pretty cool here too, because you know, every time you start a Sega game, they show you this uh, this like Sega logo. You guys should destroy it. Damn, how long is it gonna take me to destroy this thing? It's taking forever. Big Daddy Alucard here. Damn, it's taking me forever to break this thing. What's up? It usually doesn't take that long. Might have to put turbo mode on. Okay, this is taking forever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can charge it up, right? No, I don't have charge that. He has Barrett's gun. No, he shoots it from his palms. I know you can break this. I'm wondering why it's taking me so long to do it. Come on, break it, dude. I'm really close to putting auto fire on. All right, this is taking forever. Hmm. 
All right, listen, I'm not going crazy. I remember that you can definitely destroy this thing in the original version. Come on, break it. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. So wait, I can't break the Sega logo? Only the Dreamcast can break Sega. <laughs> I must be going crazy because I thought, I really thought you could break this. So how do you actually start the game? You just have to press start and I'm going to have to do it because what the hell? Why did it take me forever to break that? I, I remember only being it being a couple shots. So, uh, yeah, this is like a more fluid, more action-packed Mega Man kind of game. You shoot like, you shoot like, uh, orbs from your hands. Um, we saw the story already. So, uh, we did see the story. Let's just start the game. I love the, I love this first area. It takes place like on top of pillars or whatever. Vector Man is made of orbs or balls or whatever. He can shoot. He can shoot in every direction. Uh, collecting these little uh, sprite star things or like uh, his uh, his rings or his coins. These TVs are like his item boxes. And uh, yeah, the enemies are like. Earth face. Oh yeah, he can double jump. He has power up. This is giving me vibes of a shitty fighting. Oh, listen, that game is really bad, and it does have the look of this game, but it's not the same. This game is much better than that. Um. I love his double jump. I love his uh slow descent when you shoot downward I mean shooting in every direction is awesome just for the fun of it there's also no uh, no fall damage oh crap it's actually kind of cool yeah, this is a really awesome game. I I had the cartridge. There's a sequel. I don't think the sequel is as good. The sequel is definitely not as good as this. Oh. Oh, the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. Um, I'm trying to remember. No, it's not that way. So I guess I missed the opportunity to go over there. Um, you can move and shoot. It kind of plays like a bullet hell shooter, like control wise. But it's a lot more platformery. Oh, that's right. There's 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 uh, hidden platforms up here, right? missed it oh, I'm not gonna be able to get there again am I uh, I guess I missed that opportunity to get whatever was up there also by the way I caught up on one piece in D&D &D, so now there's no distractions except FF12 I can dig it taco I can dig it Oh, that's right. The drill. He he has transformations too. So like, uh, sometimes he'll transform into really cool stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, the particular, particularly the the flag waving stuff, I really dig. I think they they, they nailed that aesthetic, you know. It really has like a, a 3D look to it. Oh, and if you press against the wall, he'll like lean on it. He's kind of has that Sonic 90s, I'm a cool guy personality. Which was Sega's thing back then. Yeah, it's very aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a cool game. I think this game was published by Sega, but it was actually developed in America. Let's see how far I can actually get in this game without a uh, game over. Oh, now I have rapid fire. This is really cool. A little bit of slowdown, there's a lot going on. Ouch. Oh, wow, he actually died already. Baby food. Oh, I got a checkpoint, though. I definitely don't have my... I do have rap. Damn it, these 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 things are the worst. Um. You really gotta keep your eye on the the projectiles of the enemies. Oh, that's right, I could become a bomb. When you're the bomb, you can just walk up to stuff and This is very good for Genesis, though. It's kind of that. Though that's kind of the point. Yeah, that's why it slows down a bit. The graphics were definitely pushing the Genesis to its limits. Um, I think there's a boss fight coming up soon. Damn it! I hate this guy. All right, I'm not doing too good as far as. All right, yeah, there's a boss fight here. Boss fights kind of like our like uh, bullet hell boss fights. Oh, and I died. Push it to the limit. Oh god. Walk along the razor's edge. Oh yeah, I gotta stop missing that. Okay, so boss fight time. Come on, buddy. Gotta watch out oh, for the bomb drops. I kind of wish he had a charge attack. I think that's the only thing this game is really missing. Like a really good charge attack would be nice. And maybe a way to be stationary in aim. Oh, I died again. Yeah. Oh, wow. Game over. All right, I let's try that first level again. All right, that was kind of embarrassing. And also, you, why don't you, uh, I don't understand why I can't blow up the, uh, let's try that again. It's been a lot of years. I, I, I beat this game before, especially in the, uh, one day you should do the arcade night. I'd be, I'd be up for an arcade night. I'd be down for that. Um, is my controller no longer working? Oh. Okay. So you, it's it's a really good feeling when you when you uh, when you hit an enemy with an attack because you get like instant feedback from it too. Blowing stuff up in this game feels really good. It's a really good feeling, and maybe that's because of the slowdown, but I don't know. running out of my power up is that that's what that's signifying oh, I missed it again darn it and it's really hard to find those platforms
Okay, can I do it again? Oh, I'm getting really lucky. I got really lucky. Nice, nice. Now I have the uh, sort of like, I don't even know what to call it then, double helix attack pattern thing. Now for the drill. Um, what's with the two little dudes dancing down in the corner? I think that's how many, um, how many lives I have. So I have, I have three lives, the one I'm using and the two in the bottom. So that's what that signifies. Just hidden gem games. And what's a bigger hidden gem than Vector Man, bro? Yo, what system was this even for? It was for the Genesis. Damn it. All right, boss fight now. It was for the Genesis. It's one of my favorite Genesis games. Doesn't get enough love. So I thought, why not? Why not give it love tonight? Pause. Yeah, why not? No, no, not even pause. We do it for the culture. We're doing this for the culture tonight. One hit left. Kill it. Oh, damn it. I never knew one person that I never knew one person that owned it. I owned it. I owned part one and part two. Part two wasn't as good. Part two was all right, I guess. I don't know. Part two was all right. It definitely wasn't as good as part one. Part two, you're like you're like in a swamp or something, you change colors. Hidden gems, that's the best idea I ever had. Yeah, it really is. No, Taco, you've had a lot of good ideas. I'm trying to avoid trying to figure out how to avoid these uh Man, I used to beat this boss so easy. How did I do it? They could blow up the bombs when you stand under them. Oh yeah, you could, you could. Okay. I'm gonna hit him when I'm down. I'm dead. Metal slug ass chopper. Yeah, for real, dude. Uh, but you aren't a parson, Marv. I'm not a person. I'm the legend. I can't even hit this guy. I'm not even gonna bother with him. Okay, come on, boss fight. You want spaghetti? What's up? Yeah, this is this boss fight is kind of like straight out of uh, straight out of Gunstar Heroes. Like kind of straight out of uh, Metal Slug. You fight a lot of helicopters in those type of games. Helicopters and planes. And this is only the mid boss. I don't even know if I'm beat the regular boss. But bravery up. Never say game over, bro. We got this. We got this. There you go. Talk to me nice. I mean, bringing attention to beloved games is great. Beloved yet forgotten gems. Oh, this is the final the boss. Yeah, I like the I like the Nixon. He has really cool taunts and oh, this stage. Okay, after every stage, you got like a unique stage. Look at the look at this. Okay, I'm not gonna beat this. I'm gonna let you guys. Oh, I already died. Damn it! I wanted to show you guys that stage. Yo, one of my cousins got the Rona. She's a nurse. Lack of equipment in hospitals. Oh man, shout out to uh, 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 anybody dealing with the with the uh, hospitals and all that stuff. Uh, oh my god, that was crazy. That damn, I want to show you guys that level, but I didn't have enough lives. Hold on, hold on. I might, I might have to do something really baby food right now and uh, put it on easy mode. 
That was short, Marv. I know, I know. Damn it. I might have to, uh... I might... Because the... The difficulty is already on Wicked. Wicked, lame, and insane are the difficulty levels. Mar Yo, Marv made his eye patch into a mask and donated them. To he is a true king. Yeah, facts. I am. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, wait. I can change the jump button. Okay. Can we make the jump button ABC? Um, can I make B the jump button? There you go. I think that's... that's Oh, that's gonna make it easier. I'm not gonna put it on easy. I'm I'm not gonna do that, but Yo, best label difficulty. Alright, let's try again. I wanna show you guys that second stage, man. It's so dope. This game has every stage is unique as jazz. Every stage. Alright. Now I think I got it. Move, Vector Man, move. Is my controller dying or something? I can't move anymore. Did I click off screen? Hold up. Oh, okay. There you go. Now we're talking. Fix the controls. Yeah, your controls always dead. Nah, it didn't die. I just clicked off screen. My mistake. If you click off screen, it takes off the uh, control from the screen. Oh, damn. I keep getting hit, man. Okay, come on. Let's go again. Oh, it wasn't meant to go down there. sound effects he makes too it's really cool so if you bang your head if you bang your head and if you lean on a wall he does the pose also you can see uh now we're talking to me nice you can see lighting on his character model i hope you guys can see it over twitch when he moves his head underneath something he gets darker when you come out into the light he gets more green and he slides on plat on uh scaled platforms too So they were really good. Oh, man, I missed it again. Dynamic lighting? Yeah, dynamic lighting in a Genesis game, bro. Yo, at the Sega logo, Vector Man stands on top of it. Move Vector Man from top of the logo to below it. Shoot the logo 24 times. I shot it way more than 24 times. Everybody in chat can, can attest to that. Uh, the words get ready will appear in the short letters. Sega will be falling. Bro, I shot it 24 times and headbutted. Oh, you had a headbutted 12 times. All right. No wonder. I was like, what the hell? I, I broke this thing before. I know I've broken it before. So I was like, why the hell won't it break now? I didn't, I didn't realize you had a headbutted 12 times. Oh, damn. I got ripped. Oh, oh. I was like, I shot it way more than 24 times. I didn't headbutt it. He, he also slides down platforms. Like, it's pretty cool. Very unique game. Really, really unique game, man. Ugh. Stop shooting. Damn it, now you want to shoot stuff at me? Okay, bomb mode. Boom. Is there another person to blow up up here? Nah, there wasn't. Vector Man should be in the next Sonic game for Sonic and Sega All-Stars. It would be nice, but they changed the Sonic and Sega All-Stars into Sonic Team Racing. And I wasn't a fan of that. I wasn't really a fan of what they did to that. Oh, 
Okay, this is the boss fight, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, I finally made the jump. And I got an extra life. Oh, and I did it again. Nice. Now I got full life. Okay, boss fight then. He was he was there for like five five solid seconds. Wait. Vector Man was there? Oh, you're talking on the next stage, right? Yeah, the next stage is, is pretty tough. I'm gonna get there now, though. I just had to get back my muscle memory for this game. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they bring back the All Stars part. Add Max and Bo Bowie from Shining Force and add Vector Man. There's actually a lot of characters I want them to add if they bring it back. A lot of characters. Okay, here we go. Day two, Metalhead. This is one hard ass stage, bro. Because the perspective changes. I already died. Let me see, can you jump in this? You can jump. I didn't know you could jump. I beat it. Yo, but you got no muscles. Bonus points if instead of cart, Max rides on, on me. Oh, damn, one hit kill. All right. Okay, come on. That's it. That's cheap. That was a really cheap way to kill somebody. I have an enemy right there like that. Listen to the music on this stage. I'm not into like plain ass techno music, but this is pretty dope. I don't even remember this stage. I don't even remember it. Vector Man even moves slower underwater, which I guess isn't too much of a surprise. I mean, 16 big games did have that, but uh, there's a lot of characters you could have Max, Bowie, Vector Man, Kazuya Kiru. I don't know what even killed me there. Was Ryu from Shenmue? Yeah, Ryu from Shenmue was in there. Or Ryo, whatever the hell his name is. He rode a motorcycle, which is pretty cool. Wait, what? You can go... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Ouch. This is where I died before, right? All right. Somehow, I know there's a way to make it over there. How do you get in there? Okay, I'll figure it out. Damn it. This game was also in the, in the Sonic Gems collection on the GameCube. Oh, that's how you do it. Bomb. So if you ever play Sonic Gem Connection on GameCube, uh, this 
this in part two vector me and two are both on there if you have the dolphin emulator and you want to play this game you can download the sonic gem collection oh fish mode this is so dope you can't shoot in this mode though apparently i wonder if he does headbutt damage yep he does does he i don't know Put some fantasy star characters in uh, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. Some fantasy star characters. That's what I would want to see in that game. Dolphin. I could see Echo the Dolphin working if he's in a fish tank that's on wheels or something. That could work. Because how they have some characters like in really weird, uh, you know, um, carts. I think Vi is from Skies of Arcadia is in like an airship. Which Skies of Arcadia is one of my favorite games too. So shout out to them putting that in there. I think they even have Billy Hatcher and the giant egg on there. They even got DX in the game. <laughs> D DX is in every game. Is in, is in, uh, you're, you're actually right. DX is in uh, Sonic All-Star Racing. He actually is in there. <laughs> Taxi's version of DX. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I had to think about it for a second. Like, yeah, he actually is in there. God damn it, I'm getting beat by these marks over here. These little laser guys are the worst. Alright. Oh, wait, I'm all the way back here again? That's the checkpoint they gave me? That's a horrible checkpoint. I was way further than this. Under his AKA. Oh, wait, I got the star. No, this is a different area. Okay, so this is his version of having the star power or whatever. Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. I thought it was. Apparently, I guess. Yeah, I was definitely wrong. <laughs> All right, game over. <laughs> I thought that was in, in, infinite life or in, uh, uh, in invincibility. I was the lie detector determined that was a lie. Okay, so. All right, so shoot it twenty four times, head buddy. Also known as B BF Joe. It's BD Joe, you mark. Hold up. This ain't working. It's, what is this? The, I got the wrong version of the game. Is this, is this the European version? Dude, this has to be the European version or something. Because this would have broken already. You have to You have to hit it 12 times, right? That's what it said? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now shoot it twenty-four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I can't even count. He shoots so fast. Try shooting first twenty-four times. I think I'm way past twenty-four, right? This has to be the European version. This has to be the European. In the American version, this would have broken already. Uh, if you don't do anything, it just goes to the next screen. All right, so we're we're good with uh, Vector Man for now. GG's Vector Man. That is uh, that's Vector Man, guys. Yo, you can't even get on the right ROM. You mark. <laughs>
All right, so let's move to the SNES. And for the SNES, I'm I'm pretty excited to uh to play the next game we're gonna play because I think Taco's gonna love it because I think it actually takes place in Louisiana. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Louisiana Taco, because uh, this next game is pretty much about him, man. Um, this next game, uh, Fire Emblem Louisiana, close, very close, very close, but not exactly. Um, this next game is pretty awesome. Oh, God damn it. It's called Secrets of Evermore, and um, the first stage is, I, I really like this game because it's made by Squaresoft, Square Enix, Squeenix, whatever you want to call it nowadays. But it takes place in the modern world. So unlike other Squeenix games where, like, everything is, like, in a fantasy world or whatever or medieval or whatever, this game takes place in the, in the modern world, and it has the combat from uh, the mana games. So it's real-time combat. And uh, when I first played this, I was like, whoa, this is so weird because the fact that you did a Squaresoft game where you're in the real world, but it plays like Secrets of Mana, but the game is called Secret of Evermore. Oh, hey, I know Secret of Evermore. I watched NC NCS play it. And then you go, like, you go, like, inside movies and stuff. So you go, like, to a Jurassic era. You go, like, to... Uh, I forget the other eras, but you have your dog with you, too, as your secondary player. Because in the Mana games, you always have, like, a, a, a sidekick. And um, this is a really unique game, which I was like, I wonder why they never made a sequel or kept the series going. And then I looked up the, the research. I researched what was the development like for the game. This is actually the first Squaresoft game that was developed by Americans. Because uh, Squaresoft had a American studio at the time. And um, this is what they came up with, pretty much. And yeah, so let's let's check out Secrets of Evermore. I do have to I do have to pee. I'm gonna go to the little Bravehearts room before we start, but I'll let you guys look at the title screen before we start anything. Secrets of Evermore. I never beat it. Unlike Vector Man, I actually beat Vector Man uh, as a kid, which I don't even know why I suck it so bad at it now. But Secrets of Evermore. This is a really, really unique game. Really, really unique for its time. Uh, and that's Squaresoft logo. The music is good too, man. I was expecting King Arthur's World. I have King Arthur's World too, but I think it's I think King Arthur's World is pretty popular. I think Secrets of Evermore is is more uh, obscure, and it kind of has like a similar look. It kind of it kind of bruh. This this game, I really I really really thought like this is the most unique game I ever played when I first got it. Any RPG is dark for me. This I really really felt like this is the most unique game I've ever saw when I first played it. Um, so the dog and, and Doug Smith, you guys see the creators of the game? They're all Americans. They pretty much took the. Uh, the combat from mana games and uh they made something really unique this is a really really unique game really really unique and it takes place in louisiana or the first stage is louisiana bayou how do you have king arthur's world i thought i was the only one who had it i don't know taco king arthur's world is pretty popular at least with among my friends i've always considered pretty popular but i'll be right back guys gonna use a little brave hearts room brb
Ra. Here's a fun fact about this game. It's Austin Miss B Yes, yes. I was gonna bring that up, Taco. I was gonna bring that up also. Maybe just your friends group because I can barely find anything about it on YouTube. Oh really? Maybe I need to play it on Twitch. If no one knows anything about Wow, really people don't know about King Arthur's world? From my understanding, I always thought it was pretty popular. But yes. Yes, yes, yes. So the common misconception with this game is that because we got this game in America is the reason why we didn't get Trials of, of Mana in America, which people were upset about. Because I will be honest about this game. As much as I love the aesthetics of this game, it doesn't play as well as Mana. I'm also disappointed about some of the music choices in some of the stages. Some stages just have like ambient music and that's it. I think especially the first stage is all like ambient music and that's it. But, uh, no, this game is not the reason we didn't get Trials of Mana. The thing is, Trials of Mana came out late in the SNES's lifespan. Okay, but, about this game, every stage is a different timeline. So, when you go to another stage, your dog will turn into something, <laughs> like, that belongs in that world. So, your dog will become a robot dog in the future world. In the prehistoric world, it'll turn into, like, a little dinosaur. Uh, and I forgot the other ones, but let's 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 do this. Let's play a little bit of this um, And yeah, this game is not the reason why we didn't get trials of mana, but most people like to think that's the case I really like the opening to this game too So for a long time people hated this game because of the fact that they were like, oh, we got this and not trials of mana Oh, what the jazz or whatever but I, I was too young to know the, about Trials of Mana and anything like that, so I didn't really know. But I had this cartridge, I played the game, and I was like, this is the most weirdest, uniquest game. So everyone's going to be screaming your name. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Poduck. <laughs> Poduck USA. Podunk USA. Fall 1965. I really like this game. It has a Back to the Future kind of vibe to it with the timelines and, and tra time traveling. How you hate games back in the 90s when barely anyone knew what a version of X game didn't come out to X place? People knew. Oh, Louisiana Bayou Taco. Al's Barbershop. Uh, Smith's Hardware. I, I loved this opening when I was younger. I really loved this. Uh, I think people read magazines and those... Like game game pro used to used to say things like that. Like game pro used to be like, "Hey, we're not getting trials of mana because it is." Because game pro was a bunch of '90s punks running that magazine. Especially after Final Fantasy VI came out, people like knew my friends prepared to be part of history. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of a switch there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's not right. I think he gets sucked into the movie with worlds is what happens in this game. 30 years later. The Bayou Theater. This is where Taco got his name. Took, X, took E years to know what the Saturn version of SLTN was. Yeah, word. I didn't know what the Saturn version was until I got older either. 
What are you what are you doing, buddy? I like his little fake run cycle too. It has like two sprites in it. Two frames. Two frame run. Now where did he go? Did you only pick this game for Louisiana Bayou jokes? No, I actually really love this game. I wish I wish the combat was better. And I wish some of the music was better. When you get to the to the swamp area, the music is so bad. It's just so bad. But I wish they would recreate this game with better music and like modern mana like stuff in it. A mummy, a chainsaw, a balloon animal. Cause like I was telling you earlier, Taco, when you asked me what would be a cool setting for like a JRPG, I was like, probably modern world. I would like a modern urban JRPG. And this is kind of what I was basing that thought off of because I really like the aesthetics of this game. Wow, the little kid knows what that is. And he kind of gets himself teleported. We should get out of here. Hey, don't chew on those wires. Uh, oh, you can see the different versions of the dog. Uh-oh. Urban JRPGs need to be more of a thing aside from Persona and Pokemon. Yeah, I, I agree. What do we have here? An intruder, I fear. We got Igor over here. It's really hard to read the text. It's like almost blending into the background. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? That is not important. We've got to get you out of here. Oh no, he has a, this guy looks like he has a German accent. No can't go meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. <laughs> I do a horrible, horrible uh, German accent. Oh, it's Dr. Wowie. <laughs> Dr. Wowie. <laughs> I also want a, a Celtic and Mexican themed JRPG, but that's just me. Ooh, a Mexican one would be awesome with like Aztecs and ancient Mexico. I wanted a game to take place in ancient Mexico for a while. And they've, they've never done it. We barely get movies based in ancient Mexico, like Apocalypto, and that's like it. Now what? So, all right, just getting acquainted with the buttons again. It kind of sucks you can't walk diagonally, so so you can only walk in four directions. Up, down, left, right. You cannot walk diagonally, so if you have to fight somebody, it's kind of annoying. Uh, which I think in the mana games, you could walk diagonally, so that kind of... Oh, wait, no, I think it's my emulator that's not letting me do that. Um, I think I think my emulator sucks, by the way. Oh, I gotta go to this thing, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot that your first weapon is the bazooka. Yo, shout out to your emulator. Sorry, I'll make it work without this. Uh, all right, that's the item button. And you have to wait to your... to your bar fills up to actually do a lot of damage. I like this song. This song right here, I dig. But then there's moments in the game where there's like no music at all. Mostly want a Celtic thing one because Celtic mythology is extremely rad. The biggest problem is that everyone's name <laughs> would be impossible to pronounce. Yeah, in Gaelic. Some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops. There goes the control pad. Of course, it wouldn't be a Squeenix JRPG without an airship that in mode seven. I don't think you get to pilot it though. I don't I don't know if you get to pilot it yourself in this game. 
Oh yeah, this is the area. I think the pod and the bazooka are shot. Oh, where am I? And where's my dog? Hey, pupster, where are you, boy? Oh yeah, so your dog. I think we're in the prehistoric time, and now the dog turned into a werewolf, or not a werewolf, but a wolf. You've changed. Hmm. How he even recognizes that as his dog is beyond me. Um, Fire Emblem 3 I was at a Celtic themed faction and a lot of my favorite characters come from that said faction but otherwise uh, I think uh, I can't think of a, a sing of a Celtic themed JRPG I mean there's little little sprinkles of it in JRPGs but not, not really that much it wouldn't be Square Enix if the game actually has voiceover instead of only text it wouldn't be a SNES game I guess is the word you're missing in that sentence it definitely wouldn't be a SNES game if it had voice acting. So this is where I, where I'm gonna say like the the game kind of disappoints because like you go through this entire area of the game and there's like no music and it really sucks. Considering that there was just good music in that last fight you were in. <laughs> Only being able to walk in four directions really, really makes it feel like a NES game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or like Goof Troop on the SNES. Oh, I didn't even see you there, buddy. Oh, I'm new. I'm, I'm on the verge of death. Um, do I have a heal? Um, action? Uh, um, don't know what. Don't remember what this does. I'm definitely putting the dog on fight, though. Okay. So I don't have a lot of HP left. Oh, I get what Alucard is saying. He's saying the issue with Celtic GRPGs is the hard to pronounce would be moot with voice acting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It wouldn't be a Celtic game without uh, with voice acting, right? So yeah, like uh, this is not the most easiest game to play. You know, it takes getting used to because in games like Zelda that are similar to this gameplay wise, you're just swinging into your heart desires. Uh, where in this, you have to let your gauge build up again. I died. Sadly, Marvin and his dog never came back. So pretty much the goal of the game is to make your way back to, uh, oh wait, what? I gotta set the whole game all over? No, do I? No, I was gonna say that would have been that would have been heartbreaking. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can um fix the controller configuration to let me move in diagonal directions. Up right, down right, down left. It looks like I had it. I had it right. No, let's try it again. Up left, up right, down right, down left. Okay. No, I still can't. Oh, wait, am I controlling the dog now? Oh, when you press select, when you press select, oh, I can't, I, I can move diagonally now. <laughs> okay, this is much, wait. Not on every occasion, apparently. My down right works, my up right, my up left. Hold on, my my down left. I didn't even know you can control the dog in this game. My down left is not working. Okay. There you go. All right, all right, all right. We fixed the game. Three Houses actually uses its full voice acting to get around all the kingdom characters having Celtic names. Oh, yeah, this feels much better walking in eight directions. I didn't even know you can control the dog. I've never pressed select in this game before, so that was new to me. Uh, Street Fighter had issues with Ryu, Ryo, Ryu, Ri Ru, pronunciations, and maybe even more. I still don't know what Ryu's actual pronunciation is. I say Ryu, but if you watch the Street Fighter movie, Ken calls him like a different name every time he says his name. Oh, 
found some oil. That's annoying. Come on, doggy, kill him. All right, dog can't even kill him. The movie production had the same issue. I, I, I don't know what's. I still to this day do not know what the actual pronunciation of Ryu is. I, I'm not even trying to fight it anymore. If I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sticking with it for the rest of my life. I can't even change it. Ryu sounds the most. I guess makes the most sense to me, but I've heard that that's that's extremely wrong. So I don't know. Get him, doggy. You see, this part of the game, it sh it should have had some music to it. I really think it, this game suffers from this lack of music in this part. It's only ambient sounds. I have a strange feeling about this boss fight, baby. And we're this is where you figure out, oh, we're fighting rafters. We must be in the prehistoric era. Marv reaches level two. Dun, 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 dun. Rio. His name can't be Rio. It can't be. Because why is there a U? What's the teleporting bushes? What's with the teleport? I don't know. Video game logic, I guess. Scooby Doo logic. The dog reaches level two. At least it tells you when your dog levels up. Re you, not re yo. So re you, that's what I've been saying. So I guess I've been saying it right then. I don't know. Damn, the raptor's freaking fast. There you go. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Oh, no, I was wrong. Must be more than one. And so if you played this game two players, which that carry over from the mana games, you can play this two players. Your partner or player two will be the dog. You is pronounced like you, though. Yeah, Ryu. All right, yeah, that's what I've been saying. So I've been saying it right then, I guess. I don't know. There you go. Is there more? Nope. I like this little victory chant thing. This uh, fanfare. I watched so many yo video games. To pronounce it as you <laughs> or yo yo video games whatever fucking you're saying it right Marv. <laughs> yeah it is what it is let me see do i got a different weapon do i have axes i don't have any axes or spears or anything all right so uh onward we march and uh this is where you get to beat some people we of the village of Fire Eyes welcome peaceful Louisiana Bayou. Thank you for protecting us from those nasty Louisiana rafters. Please stay for a while and have some Louisiana petals. Wow, this guy really likes Louisiana, doesn't he? No, I don't think I'll have any. Yo, 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 yo. This is the hut of the leader. Please show Fire Eyes your respect. Fire eyes. <laughs> oh, he goes fire eyes. Yeah, you know, that one chick with the fruits on her head is kind of hot. Fire eyes, fire eyes, fire eyes, fire eyes, fire eyes, fire eyes. Yo, fire. I, I don't remember this. <laughs> fire eyes is a little girl with glasses. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, hi. My name's Elizabeth. I skipped what she said. Hi, Marv is my name. Who presents their name like that? 
Have you ever went up to somebody and said Taco is my name or Alucard is my name? Well, at least his name isn't. Gosh. I guess so. Well, Marv, step into my hut. We'll talk. Um. How do I not remember this part? Who let this wild beast in here? Oh, <laughs> that's my dog. He hasn't been himself lately. Oh, uh, what's his name? His name, it's, uh. Wow, you never name your dog until this point of the game? I'm gonna have to name my dog Alucard. Cause, uh, you know, that's my dog. R.I.P. to naming your character is an Alachad. Oh, that's an even better name. I just thought about it. Alachad. Alu Chad here. Big Daddy Alu Chad here. Uh, not naming him after me because I'm a home. I'm the homie. Taco, I wouldn't name a dog after you. <laughs> the name of a real place in Wales, by the way. Uh, name the dog Taco Chad. No, 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 no. The dog's name is Alu Chad. Taco Chad is a different person. It's my 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 bird. Alu Chad. Big Daddy Alu Chad here. Alu Chad, that's original. <laughs> I love this game already. Wow, I already like this game, but yeah, you're not from around here, are you? Okay, you know what? I'll take <laughs> I'll take being the bird. I'm not really sure where here is to tell the truth. Uh, you're on Evermore. I'm the prehistoric village. In the prehistoric village, I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Podunk from here, would you? Podunk. Interesting. I might. Maybe we sh we can work something out. This girl kind of reminds me of Luca from um, uh, what's it called? Chrono Trigger. How'd you like to make yourself useful around here? Well, I. The new village alchemist Strongheart was wan has wandered off to the bug muck in the east. He's been searching for alchemy. Al alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck you can help him get back to the village i will help you with whatever you need well as captain leaf Meldrick says in mars knees lumberjacks <laughs> i'm ready for anything so also your your character in this game is a movie fanatic so he like quotes movies throughout the game so apparently they have a have state alchemists back in prehistoric times their dogs are the military, and the military being a whole bunch of cave people. Before you go, I'd like for you to have an alchemy formula that I've developed. It's called Flash. It's pretty powerful against mean creatures. Um, pretty much alchemy in this game is magic. So any type of magic attacks you have, they call it alchemy. Ponytails and ponytail and glass and dresses. Well, this girl is not from this time period either. She's also from the future too, so. I'm just assuming she has to be from the future because of what she's wearing. The more you use the flash formula, the stronger you will get. Cool, thanks. Shout out to Alachad. So, um, you can use alchemy and stuff. Oh, wait, I can't use it here. Alchemy, targeting, window edit, control brief. All right, so I'm pretty much done with this game for now. Shout out to uh, to uh, Secrets of Evermore. Definitely a very unique game for its time, and even for now, it's pretty it's pretty unique. They said when they made this game that. Uh, they were thinking, what's the most American way you can make a JRPG? And they kind of came up with that. 
Um, and they said that uh, what's more American than a boy and his dog? And that's why they chose the main character to be just be a boy and his dog. Um, and yeah, that's, that's a game. I'm definitely gonna come back and beat that game one day. Maybe if ever it gets on the Switch, uh, Virtual Console, whatever. Right after getting Alchemy too. Um, but let's move forward. Let's move on to the. Let's go to PS One. And on the PS1, um, I'm going to play a game that's probably going to hurt your ears. I'm not even going to lie. But this game is just gorgeous for me. Like, I feel like the aesthetics of this game are just beautiful. And it's Strider 2 for the PS1. And it has 3D model backgrounds with 2D sprite characters. And just... <laughs> There's just so much going on in this game. My only complaint about this game is that the main character makes the same sound every time he attacks, and it kind of gets grating on your ears after a while. I hate it. Or, or you, ha you have it or you hate it? Which one is it? I love this game, but the audio does hurt my ears after a while. Because every time you swing the sword, it goes, yeah, 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 yeah. I might actually turn the audio down for this game. Um, to me, this game is a is a definitely a hidden gem on the PS on the PS One. I have it. Oh, okay, you have it. It's definitely a hidden gem on the PS One, and um, I I. I I know that there's a 3D version of it on the Xbox Live Arcade and PSN. But making this game 3D really took the, all the it took all the all the style out of it. Like this game has a really cool art style. It looks like Marvel vs. Capcom with like uh that's what it looks like. It looks like Marvel vs. Capcom as a action platformer. That's really how I would describe this game. I have that too. <laughs> so um, the music is good in this game. This is a classic Capcom. So the music is good. The art is good. And um, the game is bombastic. Like this is when Capcom was like in its most cocky form. Cockiest form, I guess. Strider 1 and 2 for the PS1 in disc. So it's funny. in on the On the disc... If you own if you own Strider for the for the for the PS1, it comes with a copy of Strider 1, the, the Genesis version or whatever. So the the disc are mis are mistranslate are mis Pretty much Strider 1 comes on one CD, Strider 2 comes on, on another CD. And the games are mistitled. The games have the wrong title on the on the CDs, which is funny. Uh, let's put the time limit on Vitality. Rapid fire on, cause it's gonna it's gonna hurt. yeah they're mislabeled. They they have the wrong title on the CDs. Oh, yeah, I can't talk today. Final Fantasy. I'm still recovering from the ending of Final Fantasy VII, so I can't even I can't even English write. Right now I'm being so no more. I can't even explain myself, explain my story. But yeah, the games are mistitled, and uh, <laughs> it's a pretty funny story. But yeah, like I said, this is Capcom at their most cockiest. This is when they could make any game they wanted, and they didn't care. They were just making anything and everything. And uh, this is definitely a hidden gem on the PS1. So if you guys ever had a chance to check it out or own it, uh definitely pick it up it's it's rare i think it's really expensive on the uh anything will sell yeah this is when anything capcom made would sell well and look good and play good still being kingdom hearts yeah i'm still being kingdom hearts bro i'm still bringing kh but let's start it off let's start this game off and uh you guys can can see this is kind of like uh Oh, it still has my save data, I guess. I think it has my save data. I guess, so. 
made this for Disney one made games for Disney one of the best ones is Ariel the Mermaid uh, Capcom Capcom used to make really good Disney games um, best water based game I'd say yeah Capcom used to make really good Disney games so what's cool about this game He will keep repeating his Okay, so I'm gonna lower the volume a little more in this game Because my only issue with this game is that every time you attack he goes <laughs> Mars starts yelling every time he swings his sword he always has to go <laughs> and Literally in this game, you have to swing the sword every five seconds, every second, let's just say. So you're going to be hearing <laughs> like every, every second. And he can rapid fire his attack. So the cool thing is that uh, you can double jump. The enemies are sprites also. It kind of has an arcadey feel to it. Like there's a time score. There's there's a. I I I swear they ripped the sprite right out of Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean it's cool. It's a ninja game, so it's like you would expect him to do all these kind of cool attacks and stuff. It's a future ninja. So it's like. It's it's cool that he does all this. Oh yeah, yeah. Fatty Boom Boom. There's one of these guys in every game. Every Capcom game at least. I like that uh when you stand and this is the most arcadey thing ever to do this like spar sparring background thing. If you just stand around he just does this cool pose like I'm a ninja don't fuck with me like even when he's down and you can climb onto the ceilings and you can literally just stand here and do this little slash thing like forever and he'll go right back to his pose his cape blows the wind in whatever direction you're facing ninjas just sort of were, were more were way more stealth and unorthodox combat than acrobatics yeah, I mean, this is a Hollywood ninja, so it's like whatever they show in movies is what this ninja is based off of. Oh, I got ripped. I do love this game, though. I do love the 3D backgrounds with the 2D sprites. Like, I love that look. I love that he can climb on every wall, cut down anything. So in this part particularly, you can just Spider-Man your way across all the walls. You can you can always use your blade no matter where you're uh, standing. It's just an awesome. This is this is an awesome like. Okay, now I'm actually looking at it. The style here is off the charts. Yeah, this game has style up the ass, bro. Like it's it's fucking ridiculous how stylish this game is. And this is when Capcom. Oh my God, Capcom, you were so fucking good, bro. What happened to you? You used to be beautiful, man. This is one of those games that make me love Capcom, man. It's so bombastic and over the top, and... It's so awesome, like... And when they remade this game entirely in 3D, I was kind of sad. I was like, oh, I lost all its style by being all 3D like that. This is the end of 2D sprites for Capcom, like, in this era. I mean... It does... Right now, the game seems super easy. You just cut forever or whatever. I liked it for the PS3. Uh, I like the gameplay on the PS3 version, but I don't like the look of it. I don't like the way it looks. 
I can't say I'm a fan of the look of it. Like this part climbing up. Oh yeah, this room is awesome. The Chun Li boss fight, or the Chun Li's, I should say. You fight the two Chun Li woman-looking things. And you can hook yourself onto moving platforms, which is really, really cool. Oh, and I, I completely forgot the uh, super effect, too. You get a lot of super effects. This is kind of like a 2D version of Devil May Cry, I would almost compare it to. Sure, 2000s Capcom did some scummy stuff, and they're currently clunking RE. Oh, this is the Chun-Li fight. But Capcom's still good. They're, they're just... Oh, this boss fight I love. I love this boss fight on top of the cop. This is like... This is like Captain Falcon stage in, like, uh, Melee. Like, fighting on top of the flying cars. I guess a bunch of Chun-Li's. I love it's auto scrolling too. I love this boss fight right here. Oh, I I died, huh? Okay. So let's uh go super. Now, when you're in super, <laughs> look at the super in this jazz. Oh, I killed them in one hit with the super. When you're in super mode, you just, it's, it's just nuts. Okay, let's go. So super mode, there's just stuff flying everywhere. Two hit kill, two hit kill. You're so OP in this game. And this is not easy mode. This is like normal mode. I'm talking about 90s Capcom versus current Capcom. Capcom is still good, but they don't do shit like this no more. They won't take a risk on a game like this no more. Because they made this cool-ass game. Who knows if it even sold well. I don't even know if it sold well or not. And, uh... Because the voice acting. Oh, this guy's pretty awesome. You gotta fight him on a satellite. So... You can make your way all the way up the satellite. Kill him. Then you have to come across the satellite. This is so awesome. Capcom was already in 2000s. I think between 2005 and 2015 is where they did all their fuckery. I don't know because I like I like Capcom 2005 because I like Dead Rising I like Lost Planet I like some of what they were doing in in the Xbox 360 era 2005 is also that's also when Devil May Cry 3 came out DMC 3 you got oh shit I died you got DMC 3 you have uh, you have Devil May Cry, you have Resident Evil 4 RE4 was uh, 2005, so maybe 2006 onward, maybe. Oh, this boss fight. I love this boss fight. So, you're fighting a Chinese dragon right here. Or Japanese, I don't even know. And uh, he's not easy. Oh, he already killed me. He goes upside down, and when he goes upside down, you have to start hanging on him like a like a ceiling and stuff. Another 3D element in a 2D game. The minute he warps upside down, Strider already switches to hanging mode, which is just so awesome, man. So badass. 
Oh, I'm already gonna kill myself. Damn it. Luckily, you only use one, you only lose one health bar when you kill yourself like that. RE4. Do you mean the remake coming for PS4 Switch? And no, I don't mean that one. That's 2020, whatever. And the mission is clear. All right, so this is the most, um, everything is coming to Switch. Um, maybe if it's a streamable game. I like the artwork in this game too. There goes uh, fake Chun-Li. Um, so the most bizarre thing about this game is that after the first stage, which is like in the future, you go like to a medieval time now. No, I'm just taking an invoke of the remake. I'm just trying to invoke the remake to pissing off Marv. No, no, no. It doesn't piss me off, but it definitely just disappoints me. It definitely disappoints me. Okay. So now we're going to go to like medieval Europe, which is like, what? <laughs> How do you go from like the futuristic city to invade and attack the Yon Fortress? Uh, target the underground cavern of the main building. Oh, I forgot about RE7 Steam Magician. Yeah, you can stream. You can stream RE games on the Switch in Japan. You fight like German soldiers here, which is pretty funny. Oh yeah, Gunta. You also see two of these sprites of soldiers in the background. Oh, I can't kill this guy. What's up? There you go. This game looks so good. What the jazz? Yeah, this is this is definitely a really awesome looking game. I love 3D backgrounds with 2D sprites. Like I love that aesthetic and um, I wish it would come back, but what are you gonna do? I just died on that guy. So if you like the aesthetic, what are your thoughts on Octopath? I think Octopath is beautiful. That's a beautiful game. Octopath is a freaking beautiful looking game. Especially because they have the blur effect on the backgrounds and everything. Like, Oh, I got hit. My only thing with, with, with Octopath is that I'm not so big on the chibi characters. That's my only that's my only downside of it. I'm not too big on the chibi looking characters like when um But with Octopath it looks good. It looks good on Octopath. Oh yeah, you gotta run here and you can just pretty much cut your way across all of all of infinite fuck right here. Oh, and so there's a hill. Oh, oh. Well, it's that time again, Marv. Time to go. Damn it, Taco. You gotta, you gotta get rid of I mean, uh, Alucard. Again, the art looks beautiful, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alucard with his job, bro. He's always leaving half midway through his stream and everything. Yo, Furby guy is here. What up, Furby guy? What's good with you, bro? How the ladies treating you, Furby guy? I heard, I heard a rumor that Furby guy is quite the ladies, man. Is that true? What up, Furby guy? How you doing? 
I, yeah, yeah, I did. I really heard. I already heard quite the rumor that uh, Furby guy is quite the ladies man. Oh damn, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna live this stage. I'm good, and you? I'm doing Mondo Righteous, my boy. Damn, look at this guy. Two big bazookas on his back. Look at these nightly characters fighting a ninja. Or supposedly nightly, because this guy has like two bazookas on his back. Looking like Blastoise over here. Yo, Strider to the truth. Yo, Gilded Cogra, what's good with you, my boy? How you doing? Yo. Tell you, Furby got his boss don't want no spaghetti. Good, ready to be off work. You getting off work right now? And what time zone you in, bro? It's like 12 a.m. for me over here in Jersey. Tennessee or some jazz, right? They definitely don't make games like this no more. I'm a mountain time. <laughs> oh, shit. This is where you actually got to pay attention to the to the platforming. Oh, I'm about to get electrocuted. It's 8.30 p.m. over here. Come on, you fire emblem reject. Get man. There you go. Talk to me, nice guy. Bravery up. Now the Hydra. Herox Solange is the boss right here. Yo, what's up with you, bro? Talk to me, nice, bro. Look how much I'm slowing down the game over here with all these. Oh, snip. I almost died right there. Oh, I killed myself. Yeah, this game is just. <laughs> I can't even imitate that sound. Yo, stop monkeying around. Get it. <laughs> this game is, uh, this is one of my favorite PS1 games. And, um, I love everything about it, except for the fact that he has to announce every attack. <laughs> so many sound effects. Love the art style, too. Love everything about this game.
So yeah guys, welcome to Emulator Madness tonight. We're playing random games, random hidden gems on every console. This is PS1's hidden gem. I think I did this joke in the chat, but make sure I will do this joke. I don't know, you do a lot of jokes in the chat for every guy. You s I'm, starting, I'm starting to think you're always yanking my chain. Starting to think you're always trying to yank my chain for every guy. So yeah, we're gonna leave we're gonna leave um we're gonna leave this game right here. Let's move forward to the Nintendo 64. Um wait, what console is this? I don't even know what this one is. Is this a Dreamcast? Sega Saturn. Oh, I forgot I had the Sega Saturn. Okay. I was about to say, let's go to the Nintendo 64. But now, I didn't even know I had the Sega Saturn emulator. Yo, I need to hook up the PS2 and play some Tenchu. Tenchu's dope, bro. Shout out to From Software. From Software made Tenchu. Okay, now I'm just using emojis f from another Twitch streamer. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't even remember that I had the Saturn emulator. Where's the Saturn games at? ROMs. Ooh, we got Symphony Saturn. We have Dungeons and Dragons Saturn. Okay, now I'm just using... Okay, oh, I just read that one already. Honestly, half the Saturn's library can be... Can <laughs> dude, honestly, the entire Saturn... <laughs> Nobody played Sega Saturn, dude. We got Sonic R, we got Snatcher, we got uh, X-Men, Children of the Atom. Damn, I wish Alucard was here to pick a game. Nights into Dreams. Um, You know what? Let's play the game that, that I was trying to uh, play Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, we'll play Dungeons and Dragons. There's two games, Tower of Doom and Shadows over Mystara. What do you? Th which one do you think? Uh, Tower of Doom or Shadow of Mistara? Taco, because there's there's two there's two D and D games on Saturn. I'm here, but driving. Damn, how are you texting? And, how are you typing and driving, dude? You can you get yourself killed. <laughs> uh, Shadow of Mistaria. Okay, we'll play that one. Let's see. I think it's. I think this is how you do it. Um, hold on. Maybe I you. Loaded it wrong. Can't initialize. Oh, wait. Maybe my Saturn emulator doesn't work. Wait. Hold on. Because I haven't used the Saturn emulator in forever. Let me see. ISO. I can't initialize. Let me see something. Run. Oh, no. I think my Saturn emulator doesn't work. Oh man, I got all hyped up for nothing. Snatcher the Kojima game? If so, that was a good. Yeah, I have Snatcher on Saturn and I have it on Sega CD. Snatcher is good, but it's a text-based game. So, unless you guys want to help me go through a text-based game and make me choose all the answers, you guys would probably make me choose all the wrong answers. Ah, uh, nah, it's not working. Let me see something. Emulation run. Can't initialize your booze. Okay, read up. Nah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to fidget with this tonight. We'll make. We'll, we'll we'll do Saturn night next week where we play like every Saturn game because every single game on that console is really a hidden gem. There's no. Oh my god, I played that game. Everything on everything on Saturn is like hidden gem. Okay, so we'll go. We'll we'll do Saturn next week after I fix it because I didn't even know I had that. I had no idea I even had a Saturn emulator. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to the Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 hidden gems are I don't know. I don't know what's a hidden gem on 64. I feel like 64, every game that's popular on it is very popular and everybody knows about it. There's no hidden gems. I don't know, Kagura, what Gilded Kagura, what do you think is a Nintendo 64 hidden gem? And let's see if I have it. There's 200 games in the 64. I know. I have almost all 200. So, oh, maybe Mistress Makers. 
Mischief Makers was a a game by Treasure that was pretty good. No, no, no. We're not playing Quest 64. Don't worry. Don't worry, Taco. I have a distinct hatred for Quest 64 because I have a friend who actually loves that game, and I'm like, how? How do you love that game? How could you possibly love Quest 64? All right, somebody, somebody pick one. Bomberman 64 is not a hidden gem. Bomberman is a very known gem. It's very... Very known. Elevated likes Quest 64. How? How do people like that game? That's bizarre to me. That's the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. Quest 64 is the most bizarre wannabe JRPG I've ever played. That's, I don't know, man. I don't think there's nothing. I don't think there's anything that rare on the, on the 64. Hmm. No Mercy? No Mercy. I love No Mercy, but No Mercy is definitely not a hidden gem. Give me something that nobody knows about. I'm about to go with Mischief Makers. I think nobody really knows about Mischief Makers. Mischief Makers is definitely a rare game. Not made by Rare. I know Rare dominated the 64. Doom 64. Do I have Doom 64? I do have Doom 64, but I don't think that's rare, man. That's on every console now. A hidden gem is like a game that nobody knows about, that no one's really played, and that is not part of a main, like huge franchise. I think I think uh, I th Vigilante Eight was kind of rare. Mm, no, I don't think Vigilante Eight was that rare. I know a lot of people that have Vigilante Eight. Let's go with Let's go with Mischief Makers. The fact that no one said anything about Mischief Makers, maybe you guys don't know about it. The problem is there's like 100 games for the 64, and everyone's played all of them. Yeah, I, I will admit, 64 doesn't have a lot of hidden gems because everyone's played every good game on the 64. I think the only one that might count as a hidden gem, Glover. No, 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 no. No, we're not playing Glover, bro. We're not playing Glover. We're definitely not playing Glover. We're not. He said Glover. <laughs> nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing Glover. Okay, so this is an Enix game, which Taco might appreciate. Made by Treasure, developed by Treasure. Um, it's a 2D with 3D backgrounds, kind of like uh, kind of like uh, there's the booby grabbing old man. Pokemon Coliseum wasn't hit him, but I know a lot of people who played it. This is by the makers of Gunstar Heroes, and um, it's two it's two D pre rendered characters with three D background, so it's kind of like Strider. Coliseum was GameCube. Stadium was sixty four. Yeah, Coliseum was GameCube. All right, we'll play Mischief Makers. Um. Let's put my name in here. I don't know why so many retro games wanted you to put your name in the game, but whatever. M or F, I'm a male. Uh, am I gonna put my real age here? Let's put it. <laughs> I'm 30 years old, 31 years old to be exact. Man, I'm bored. I came to visit the planet of Ka Clancer, and I can't go out. Marina told me to stay in the ship till she comes back from scouting. So I know a little bit about this. Kind of same shit as Vector Man, where I know what it is, but I've never seen it be played. Okay, so so uh, this is a pretty cool game. I couldn't really get into it. It's kind of hard to play. Yo, Valkyrie Profile was rare. Yes, we. I would have played Valkyrie Profile if you would have recommended it. Valkyrie Profile, oh PS2, Rule of the Rose, definitely rare. I think I have it. We might play that next. Huh, visitor? 
We might play Rule of the Rose next. I know about your profile. What the heck? Valkyrie Profile is a pretty awesome game. Dude, I still have a copy of Roller Rose on disc. No way. I don't have a single PS2 disc. That's wild that you have that. That's rare. You could probably sell it. That game goes for Norse mythology and it gets some stuff wrong, but I still love it. Yeah, Valkyrie Profile is pretty awesome. Not Road of the Rose. That it that has is like 150. Road of the Rose. It has. What do you mean? It goes for like 150 on eBay or something. Worth like 200 dollars. Valky profile is worth a lot. Road of the Rose is definitely worth a lot. We might play Road of the Rose tonight. Let's see. All right, so let's meet Marina. This is a pretty unique game. It's kind of like Mario 2. You, you pick up enemies and you throw them. Ha ha ha, feel the power of great empire. You're coming with me. I've been captured by the evil empire. What are you gonna do, Luigi and Taco? We were ordered to take you to our emperor. That's all we were told. What I do know is that you'll have a honor, a horrible time with us. Get ready for crying scream. You know what? If you want to do PS2 Hidden Gate, Boulder's Gate, Dark Alliance. I don't think I have Boulder's Gate, Dark Alliance. But I was about to download it the other day just because you, you mentioned it a couple times. So maybe, maybe I'll do a whole stream of Boulder's Gate one day. I might have it. I don't know. Hey, you are Marina, the Ultra Intergalactic Cybot G. And you are people who kidnapped my prof. <laughs> yo, you kidnapped my prof, yo. I can tell by your face. Oh, no. Don't associate me with those guys. We're also suffering because of them. Go to my village and meet Geold. If you want to talk to, to, to someone, use LRR when you're next to them. Okay, I'll go with you. Oh, yes. So, so in this game, the main point is to shake people. Dark Alliance kicks ass. I played it with my dad when I was like 10 or, or uh, 9 or 10. Okay, I forgot. I'm the warrior who guards the item shrine. It takes a while to get to the actual gameplay here. So it kind of, kind of, kind of lags a little bit. This village has many ruins. This structure is called the clan shrine. Really? I don't want to talk to these people, but I think I have to talk to this guy. Oh, finally, I've been waiting for you. My, I'm Nepton, all wise, all knowing Geold. This is the planet Clancer, where we Clancers live. All of our race is kind of friendly. It's kind and friendly. And because of these traits, the Empire has persuaded many Clancers to become evil. They use their powerful troops to invade other planets. They are trying to rule the universe. I'm not sure why they kidnapped your prof, <laughs> but I'm guessing that they'll take him to the emperor. You must rescue him before that happens. You know, to get from place to place, you must use the warp gates. There are many such gates on Clancer. However, these gates were all sealed a long time ago. It's time to open them. Use this clan bomb at the shrine to unseal the gate. Okay. Where's the gate at, though? Villainy up. Yo, villainy up indeed. I don't know where the gate is, though. Is this this? Yeah. No, that doesn't seem to be it. Hmm. 
I like how you can pick up NPCs. That's pretty cool. All right, is this the gate here? No, where's the gate at? All right, see, oh, that's the gate right there. Shake, shake, shake. So, yeah, this, this is a... Uh, yeah, I haven't played Dark Alliance in like 10 or 11 years. So, forgive me if I forget a little bit about it. It's Coolio, Julio. Um, man, that was a long, long way to go. I wonder what this place is called. Hee, hee, hee. I've been waiting for you, Marina. What? Who are you? Why are you copying me? He he he, not only do I have your look, but I also have all your special techniques down. Now, if you or if you go around doing bad things to folks using your name, what's going to happen? You must be a drone of the evil empire to come up with a plot like that, but I'll stop you. Oh, I'm scared. You're so scary, Marina. Catch me if you can. Oh, man, where did that guy go that looks like me? Wait, what is this? Stop jumping over my house. Stop using up on the D-pad to boost over it, too. I know that pressing up twice is the only way you can make it over my house. Wait, up twice? That's a uh, doesn't seem to be work. Oh, wait, it worked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. That's doing a lot of damage. Remember one of those? I remember one of the bosses is a Senian Beholder. And he's basically Xanathor from <laughs> Xanathor before Xanathor. Okay. Shake, shake. Oh no, I'm getting damaged here. Oh, Marina, please stop digging, tapping B while holding down. You will uncover my buried item. Stop it. I've hidden my loot. Oops, never mind. I forgot. I said anything. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, to be honest. All right, this is not an easy game to play. <laughs> uh, okay, so hold down, press B. No, it doesn't seem to be working either. don't get it all right so much for a hidden gems i don't even know how to play this game <laughs> all right what did what did just come through the red warp gate oh uh, yes you must be you must have pressed b at the gate to go through the next area keep in mind that the gates are one way so you may not be able to return. Be careful. Okay. I still haven't learned how to play this game properly, but how do you play this game? This game is so hidden that I don't even know how to play it. There's a lot of faces on all the rocks in this game. I'm the director of this hospital. I heard things. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Since you haven't played D&D &D 5E, 
Xanathor is a sentient beholder and has an entire guild cut cult working for him. He's also the title character of the source book Xanathor's Guide to Everything, which I freaking love. Yeah, it sounds like an awesome book. Okay, how do you how do you uh move things? Okay, uh, that's not how you do it. Marina, are you going to torture me too? All people do is use B to torture me. Never just set me down. They always have to throw me around. Um. Okay. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, Sorry if I wasn't paying attention to the stream. I was trying to get permission. I was trying to get permission to record a reaction video on his YouTube channel. Okay. All right. Uh, this game has a long learning curve, man. I didn't, I don't, I didn't know it was going to be this difficult to learn how to play this game. I do like the look of it, though. Okay, jump. You can roll around with down C forever, apparently. Okay, so um, <laughs> that's uh, that's mischief makers. <laughs> Uh, it's a hidden gem, but uh, not one that I know how to play properly, apparently. So we're going to uh, escape from here real quick and play a game that I actually know how to play. All right. Uh, that was fun, Mr. Makers. That was fun, man. Okay, so uh, moving on from the N64. Um, what is it? The Dreamcast? I wonder what happened to my Dreamcast emulator. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we're we're on to the Dreamcast now. Um, I think I opened it like eight times. Okay. All right, on to the Dreamcast, and uh, let's. I know for this console, uh, ch ch um, choose uh, your disc, right? GD ROM. Power. Yo, Dreamcast had heavy metal. All right. I'll let you guys figure out in the chat what you want me to play. Um, I probably have every Dreamcast game ever on here. So it's a little bit easier to make choices because Dreamcast had a good library, but not a huge, huge, huge library. Um, let me see. Normal boot. Um, we got Mark of the Wolves. We got uh, we got a lot. We got a lot to choose from here. Dreamcast, C-Man, <laughs> I like C-Man a lot, I don't have a microphone to play it though, you can't play C-Man without a microphone, yo, World at War, World at War was, <laughs> was on Dreamcast, no guys, I can't, you, you can't play C-Man without a microphone, so the emulator, the ROM for C-Man, I don't even know how you play it on, on a ROM, because there's no, there's no microphone, um, Damn, <laughs> uh, I, I I would play C Man if you guys really wanted me to, but uh, you got a lot of options here. A hidden gem, though, nothing too popular. You know what I mean? A hidden gem, something not too many people know about. Trombone, trombone was on PS One. That's on PS One, not Dreamcast. I think I got one. Power Stone is popular. Taco, the Zelda spinoff. No, I think I got one. Cannon Spike. I bet you none of you guys played Cannon Spike before. Cannon Sp Mega Man? There's no Mega Man on Dreamcast. That's PS1, dude. Okay. I already picked one. Mega Man is in Cannon Spike, though. Really? I barely heard of, of Power Stone. Oh, Power Stone is like one of the most popular games on Dreamcast. It's, uh, it's, it's Capcom's version of Smash Brothers, pretty much. But, uh... I'll leave you guys with the intro to Cannon Spike. Cannon Spike is another damn. I should have just made this a Capcom themed episode, right? Because uh, 
Dan and Spike is another Capcom game. But it has Mega Man, it has Cammy, it has uh, Charlie, it has Arthur from uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, it's a weird game. It's a weird game. I think it has Captain Commando. And oh damn, there's a horror game on Dreamcast called Ill Bleed. Oh yeah, so let me let you sh show you guys the intro. Um, that's Arthur from from Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, this is uh, a really it's a bullet hell game, but it's like a really weird one. A really really weird bullet hell game, because you play it on rollerblades. It was marketed heavy metal, but died out quick. I have heavy metal for Dreamcast too. It's it's kind of hard. Yo, good. You're thinking of Mega Man Legends for PS One. So this game, you play it on rollerblades. When you walk around and stuff, it's all like rollerblade walking and all that jazz. And, I, and yeah, Mega Man and Cammy and Char. It has a lot of Street Fighter characters in this game. So uh, I'll be right back. I'll let you guys look at the little preview in between. BRB. Yo, my <coughs> damn coughing over here. My boy Neon Ninja in the chat. Yeah, I don't have a switch right now, bro. I'm getting a new one though once the Rona's over. Right now it's hard to get one. His switch was owned by his roommate, but we had a falling out with. It's a long story. Pretty much, yeah, that is the exact story. Yo, but what's good with you, bro? Are you being Neon Ninja? Tonight we're playing random hidden gem games, one for every console. Um, damn, my controller doesn't work. What happened? Yakuza. Am I clicking on the screen? What's up with my controller? Controller. What happened to my game? Marv, yo, what are you, what are you, what are you acting like, and right now? Hold on, my controller. Um, config player one. Oh, I think I gotta switch it to uh. Not responding. Marv, give me attention. Yo, Predator Hunting Grounds are really fun. Is it? Is it though? Is it really though? 
Nah, it really is. I heard I heard good things about it. Damn, my Dreamcast emulator crashed. All right, hold on. My controller's not working. What's up with it? I got to switch to Xbox controller. Hold on. Okay. All right, now it should work. All right, so we're going to play Ken and Spike. I'm off work. What happened? You, they, they, they fired you? <laughs> Yo, it has so much potential for them to do more with it. Well, you know, they got updates and stuff. Yo, did you not leave work like fit, less than 15 minutes ago? They didn't give me a schedule, so I thought I worked today. <laughs> Yo, classic, classic Alachad over here. <laughs> So yeah, this is Ken and Spike. It's uh damn my controller still doesn't work. What's up? Okay, hold on. Signs up. Why my controller doesn't work? I hate when I have to do uh what? No. I didn't put oh, this is this is acting stupid right now. Yo, I put Xbox controller for the save. I, I must have not put save settings or something. Yo, they didn't give me a schedule, so I thought I had to work. Turns out I didn't. Come on, bro. What's up with this? No, I want Xbox controller for Windows. Um. Oh, wait a minute. R. Oh, no, no, no. I'm switching the buttons. B5. B2. Start is B9. Oh, it's B7. Okay. Normal boot. Okay. Yo, Jeff's arcade is back. Yo, use an arcade stick on the Dreamcast. I should use an arcade stick on the cast, right? Trying to play some cannon spikes so I can teach you a little bit about Capcom. I should have themed this episode Capcom History Day. But you know what? No, my controller still doesn't work. Why, my, why doesn't my controller work? What's up with this? It says I have a wireless controller, but I don't. What's up with this? Now it's, getting, now it's just pissing me off. Nice, Cannon Spike, dope. I'm trying to play it, but oh, these emulators always got some kind of issue, bro. Always got some kind of issue. No, I don't want the wireless controller. I want the Xbox controller. Okay, I'm setting this up. B7. Okay. Now, can you work? Yeah, hold this, Playboy, my man. All right. Let me check it again now. It changed back to wireless controller. Yo, my boy. This became a brave heart god for four months. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Jeps. You the man. Okay. X input. Oh no, I think XF put doesn't work. Maybe I need to do this. Uh oh. Braveheart Gottery. Yeah, I appreciate the support, my boy. Truly do. You are a Braveheart God. Okay. LB. Okay, maybe this is it right here. Uh, Why is that? B A X. Oh man, I hate that I have to do this on stream. This is what pisses me off. I usually try to have everything ready for the stream, but I can't. All right. All right. Now, if you don't work, I'm going to beat somebody up. Actually, even before I even do that, let me make sure it's saved. Yeah, I think it's saved. I think it's saved. 
yo, Top Twitch channels greater than Bravery Arcade. No, Bravery Arcade is greater than Top Twitch channels. Yo, if I knew I was off today, I'm about to order some halal food, bro. I'm I'm hungry. But you know what? It's not about that. It's about this game I've been trying to play for three hours. Yo, BBS, off work, Tekken 7 time. I might start streaming Tekken 7 again. I beat Final Fantasy 7. Halal delivers at the time? In New Jersey, it does. It's Ramadan. <laughs> they don't care in New Jersey. <laughs> Marv got the NCDC hookup. Yo, Stereo Jericho. All right. The dopest thing about this game, right? I'm, I'm going to put this on. Damn, you can put this shit on baby food. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they got baby food setting. <laughs> Yo, this is where baby food originates. Yo, this is where baby food originates from, bro. Baby child. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> if anybody wanted to learn the origin of baby food. Yo, these settings been wild today. <laughs> Yo, actual baby food setting? Wow. Okay. Uh, Listen, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Baby food has been making its way around the internet. And one day I was watching a streamer that I don't know saying something was baby food. And I was like, damn, bro, it's my check app, bro. I hate when Gregory I make some. Yeah. Oh, no, Yo, right shout here. out to Gilded Kagura for hosting. I hate when I make something popular and I don't get credit for it, bro. But at the same time, it's the internet. What are you gonna do? How are you not gonna? How are you gonna? How are you gonna make somebody pay for that? But can it spike OG baby food mode right here? We're gonna keep it on easy though. And the cool thing about can spike and the way the reason I wanted to play this game because one, it's a hidden gem. Two, you can play with you can play with Mega Man, BB Hood. I don't, I don't know who Simone is. Cammy, Sheba's original. Arthur. Signs wrong with the emulator because Arthur. Oh, what the fuck? It made me play with Arthur. That's Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts. I didn't want to play with Arthur, though. I wanted to. Yo, we all good. We just going to overcharge them for what they did to the Cold Crush. This is Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts. Shut baby food. Okay, so in this game, in this game, everybody's on roller skates. So you roller skate and you shoot stuff. That's the that's the gimmick of this game. It's a it's a bullet hell. And like I was trying to show you, Cammy, Charlie. Let's play with Charlie right now. Okay. Charlie. Cammy, Mega Man, Arthur, everybody from different games is here shooting shit. They should have had Guile too, but it's whatever. Played my boy Guile. He has a sonic boom gun. I mean, the game's kind of hard to play because it's like... It should have been dual analog shooting, but yo, damn those blades though. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie got the inlines, got the inline skates. His graphics ain't bad. Nah, Dreamcast had still has really good graphics. Oh yeah, you can kick and punch and stuff. I forgot Charlie can do uh, melee. Yo, we don't need God because we got Charlie. Or Nash is what Street Fighter V calls him. Somersault kick. Oh, they call it flash kick now. Cannon spike. And the game is named after Cammy's uh, cannon spike attack. So this def he definitely was a hidden gem for his time. I don't... 
But it's very arcadey. The levels are done really fast. You can you can beat this game in like 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot he had a rapid fire. I didn't even know he had a rapid fire attack. Yo, it seems like a good game to play with your people when eating mo string mozzarella cheese sticks. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty unique. Every every character has different levels. Like Arthur, you saw, has the ghosts and goblins level. It's very arcadey, but this is Capcom in the 1999. So what are you gonna do? Let me play with a different character. What I used to love really about Dreamcast games is that it's easy to reset the game with a, a LR and start. All right, let me play with uh, Cammy. Yes. Cannon Spy. Cammy's pretty cool in this game. She shows the cheeks. Who doesn't love Cammy's cheeks? Let me know. You're about to get banned from the chat. She got Uzis. X-23 over here with the claws. I don't know why the enemies sound like little kids, but... Uh Damn, bro. Hopefully we live to see all Capcom fighters with all these cats. Yeah, for real. Fun fact, that costume is available in Street Fighter V. Boy, isn't this her classic costume? They don't got the roller blades. the red hat <laughs> I mean this is her classic costume from every game baby food, baby food is calling me a cheeser don't listen to Alachad bro Alachad is mad because we got a good a new a new nickname for him Aluchad big daddy Aluchad here Uh, I'm aiming the wrong way. Cannon spike. What I want to know is, is what, at what point was it, was it like at Capcom where like any idea or any game they had, they were like, all right, we're going to make it. There must have been at one point at Capcom where they were like, fuck it. We're just going to make any game. If anybody walks up to us and has an idea for a game, we're just going to make it. Because this is a. This is a, a a bullet hell shooter with Street Fighter characters on roller skates. Yeah, they were in fuck it mode. Like Dreamcast era, PS1 era, Capcom was like, listen, if anybody works for this company and wants to make a game, just come up and say it. We'll do it. Futuristic Ninja, do it. They were like, fuck it. We're, we'll do it. It don't matter. Yo, make Disney games do it. Oh, you want a game with, with DuckTales and you go to the moon? Just do it. Rotor Blade game, do it. Word, they were just like, just do it. They were on some Shia LaBeouf. Cause look at this game, bro. Who whose idea was this? Whose I whose man's is this? Dinosaurs Cadillacs, do it. Well, Dinosaurs and Cadillacs was actually a, a cartoon first, 
Capcom mascot game, do it. Captain Commando, Ken from Street Fighter in the year 2099, do it. Do it. There was just this error in Capcom where they were like, just do it. Just make anything. All right, so I played with Cammy. I played with Arthur. I don't know who Simone is. I don't know who Sheba is, but we got Mega Man. Let's play with Mega Man. But what if, and hear me out, Resident Evil, but it's also shooting demons and shit. Um, it's, it's, it's not too, it's not too uncalled for. Mega Man is dope in this. I like Mega Man's character model. It's very shiny. Mega Man also does a, a Sonic the Hedgehog attack from Smash Bros. Taco. <laughs> oh, Mega Man 8 with it. Tornado, I don't know. Marvel vs. Capcom, just do it. You want to put Amigos? You want to put... You want to put a Mingo? You want to put a Cactus in Marvel vs. Capcom? Just do it. Tornado, oh my god. I like Mega Man's artwork. It looks weird, but it also looks good. It looks like classic Capcom. <laughs> Yo, Mega Man's head is humongous. Alright, let's play with uh, one last character. Let's play with BB Hood. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, yo. BB Hood is probably <laughs> the Capcom character that really I find the most bugged out. You wanna make Robot Akuma in a robot fighting game? Here's three mil for the budget. Boom. Demon villain of ghosts and ghouls, do it. Word. Red brand. Demon Crest. Alright, let's play with BB Hood. BB Hood is a secret character. BB Hood bugs me out the most because she's Little Red Riding Hood, but with a, a million guns inside that little basket. I love that about her. She and, Oh, and she's a scooter. She rides a scooter in this game. I forgot. I forgot she rides a scooter. She's broken in this game. She got like smoke grenades or something. You want BB Hood on a scooter? Just do it. Yo, she got goons. She got a scooter pooper. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know where they got the idea for the scooter for this for her, but it fits her perfectly. Fallen Barag. Ora, 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 ora. Yo, X-23 is running away. I think Capcom should have just... Should have the Just Do It logo. Maybe back in the day. Not, no, not anymore. Definitely not anymore. There was definitely an era at Capcom where they were like, Just do it. We all know... Like, uh, uh... We all know if she appears in another fight, she better... Pull up on it. <laughs> Yo, she has she has Uzis in that little basket. It's so funny, man. I still find that to be the funniest thing ever. Little Red Riding Hood with a whole bunch of Uzis in her picnic basket. So when she pulls up, when she pulls up to uh, the Big Bad Wolf, I feel bad for him at that point. I feel bad for her at that point. All right, enough, uh, enough Capcom dick sucking for tonight. I think I, I give Capcom too much credit. What I got, what I'm gonna do though? I, I like them. They're cool. They're a cool company. They do cool jazz. But uh, Capcom's next move with uh, their fighting games is gonna determine if we get the good or bad timeline of the simulation we are in. Yeah, facts, bro. Because uh, what's next, man? I think they should do a, a Capcom All-Stars fighting game next. I don't think they should do Street Fighter Six. 
But we're moving on to the PS2. We're in the PS2 era now. Um, so, hidden gems on the PS2. <laughs> oh, my God. I was making fun of my boy for this the other day. This game is bugged out. Damn, it's another Capcom game, too, bro. I should have just named this Capcom Capcom Night. I should have just named this Capcom Night. Damn, this is funny. Oh, I could play Rule of the Roses, but... Nah, you guys all played it already. It's not like everybody in the chat knows about it. Rule of the Roses already. So, the joke is that she's an ordinary human, but she's more of a monster than any of them. Yeah, yeah. That is the joke with uh that is the joke with BB Hood. She's the only human in Darkstalkers, but she's she's the most monstrous because, you know, she's just a demon hunter. Okay. Have you guys ever played a game called uh Chaos Legion? All right. Taco really wants that Dark Alliance game, huh? That Boulder's Gate. No, but it sounds bad. I, 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 we should just rename this night Capcom Madness Night. I love, I love this intro. I love this intro. Come see the hidden truth of this world. All right, I'm not gonna press start. Because the opening cutscene to this shit, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I turned into John Tarota when I watched this cutscene. 2003 Capcom. Yeah, today, today turned into Capcom Madness. I wasn't intentional. I kind of blame Taco. Yeah, we play Secrets Evermore and Vector Man. Not quite Capcom. Sega and Square. But if you put Sega and Square together, you get Capcom, right? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I love this cutscene. The darkest glyph Glyph, thou bearest, Jeff Rice's stray souls, souls to summon down the earthly force. force. They're just saying random shit. None of this makes sense. Unhearthly force shall obey and serve these. The Chaos Legion. Nothing here makes sense. They're just saying random shit. This is not the story. They're just saying mad random shit. Why was she taken from me? The sinner shall be atoned. This is Mars Even dialect for no sure. Punishment will be enough for your sin. Sila, why? Why were you taken from me? The why? answer is within. The answer is within. I shall never forgive you for what you have done. They're just saying random shit. It's still too soon for you to meet your Sephiroth. Enemy. First, you'll have to suffer through the underworld. None of this makes sense. They're just saying random shit. Follow me, Zeke, for your atonement is waiting for you. Come, Come see the, the hidden truth, truth of this world. world. Once a pious man had fallen into the dark side, this tragedy began to unfold. Man, this ain't DMC one. Last night, Sir Clovis, a considerable member of our Order of Saint Overia, was murdered. After stealing the forbidden apocrypha of Ezark, the suspect managed to escape. Your baby food ain't a mark, ain't a stinky, and bad. <laughs> His name is Victor Delacroix. Victor Delacroix. What led that virtuous man to commit such yeah, a Jeff's, yeah. order is unknown, but there is no time to waste. You must track him down. Zeke Varheit. Okay, so this game is I'm 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 happy that Jeps put it together. This game is pretty much DMC and Resident Evil 4 wrapped in one. It's trying to be this whole mysterious like religious theme thing. But I swear to god, every time somebody talks in this game, they're just spouting out random religious shit. Like none of it makes fucking sense, bro. The priest in this game, even though he's from like a medieval setting, he has a 
Texas accent. the darkest glyph thou bearest at sacrifice of stray souls you hear to some unearthly force. Unearthly force shall obey and serve thee. Tis named Chaos Legion. And then you fight like Sephiroth, and Sephiroth is like the bad guy in this game, which is like, yeah. The sinner shall be atoned, even though no punishment will be enough for your sin. Sila, why? why? Why were, were you, you taken, taken from, from me? me? I'm gonna play the game right wow. now. Don't worry, guys. The answer is within. I shall never forgive you for what you have done. It's Yo, is it bad that I understand this? <laughs> First, you'll have to suffer through the other. Oh, world. Taco, you would understand more than anybody. This is your kind of realm. This is Follow your. Follow me, Zeke, for your atonement is waiting for you. Come see the hidden truth of this world. Once a pious man had fallen into the dark side, this tragedy began to unfold. This is definitely Taco's kind of game. Last night, Sir Clovis, a considerable member of our Order of St. Overia, was murdered. After stealing the forbidden Apocrypha of Ezark, the suspect managed to escape. Why do you have a Texas accent, priest? His name is... Victor Delacroix. Victor Delacroix. Puck at Midnight Burger and Todd from Sonic's. Facts, that sounds good. Order is unknown, but there is no time to waste. You must track him down. The night of the dark glyphs, Zeke Varheit. Okay, I'm gonna finally play the game now. And, um, this is 2003. This game is very Devil May Cry, Resident Evil ish. But the gimmick with this game is that you summon like familiars. It's like Devil May Cry with summoning. You can summon familiars all over the place. I'm gonna play it on easy mode. Just so I can show you guys more of the game. Victor Delacroix. Tis the darkest glyph. Delacroix is the last name of, of uh, Cardinal Dracula in FFT's PSP remake. Unearthly force shall obey and serve thee. Tis named Chaos. Tis named Chaos Legion. Hey Marv, you know. Hey Marv, you want to know what's annoying on Instagram? What, Furby guy? You can't play on easy mode if it doesn't have a baby food mode. <laughs> the sinner shall be atoned. This cutscene is no so epic. Will be enough for your I love this cutscene, and this is the third time we're watching it. Why? This is the last time. Why you can play you on easy mode if it doesn't have baby food mode. People trying to scam you. Yeah, people do do that on Instagram. You got a lot of scam accounts. The answer is within. I shall never forgive you for what After you've he done. says, "Come see the hidden truth of this world." Too soon for you to meet your end. First, you'll have to suffer through the underworld. Come see the hidden truth of this Follow world. Me, Zeke, for your atonement is waiting for you. Come see the hidden truth of this world. Come see the hidden truth of this world. I like the way the actor delivered it. Come see the hidden truth of this world. This emulator has his issues. Okay, so those lines you see on the screen weren't there originally, so bear with this emulation. It's kind of it's kind of fidgety. You say it's a bunch of bullshit. They're saying I can understand it. <laughs> yeah, Taco, like I said, this is your kind of game. I think they're just saying random religious mumbo jumbo. Taco's like, this is my language. <laughs> this is my language.
And uh, it's not a bad game. It's very DMC, but it's uh, it's also kind of stiff in the controls department. And uh, the game still looks good for its for its time. I know I had a lot of people scam me. Uh, one said that he's an admin on Instagram saying how much I won a lot of money. And the other said the same thing, but failed to scam me. <laughs> yeah, don't get scammed for every guy. Be a brave heart. Brave hearts don't get scammed. Brave hearts definitely don't get scammed. Victor Delacroix. It's a lot of enemies here. It's a lot of enemies. Okay, you guys, you guys want spaghetti. I don't know what's happening in the story, but I understand what they said in the beginning. His name Chaos Legion. And this is another Capcom game. It's like it's like Devil May Cry and kinda like kinda like Dynasty Warriors ish, I guess. His name Chaos Legion. Like uh, you fight a lot of enemies, but they're like bugs and monsters and stuff. There's definitely not a lot of uh. Oh, that's how you summon. Okay. Uh, I wasted that one then. There's the Chaos Legion. Their lost souls, Victor Delacroix, controls them. Also, conspiracy involving the church because Japanese views on Catholicism. I just wasted my summoning on uh, nothing, pretty much. Tis name Chaos Legion. Come see the hidden... Yo, it's crazy how no one talks about Dynasty Warriors. I don't like Dynasty Warriors. I'm not going to front. It's all right, but, you know, you know, I could do without it. You know what I'm saying? his name chaos lesion there's no block button in this which is kind of bugged out but dynasty warriors used to be really good i heard dynasty warriors stuff all the time or at least i used to dynasty warriors eh. what happened i died oh i think i died i did die i gotta set the whole level all over damn i gotta set the whole level all over they had like no they got they're, they're over nine bro they're way over nine they're way over nine <laughs> dynasty warriors had nine no they're way over nine dynasty warriors for each version there's a uh, there's like three different versions of the game see something do you have other combos player player actions assault assault uh, force mode what the hell's force mode quick recovery reduce your downtime by pressing the jump button oh. ah, I don't know it's his name chaos lesion all right, Thanatos. These are all the summonings I think I got. Thanatos. This is the ultimate legion that reigns over all others. Yeah, I remember the hyper, the Gundam. The Gundam one was dope. I'm not gonna lie. I like Gundam. 
So I, I like the Gundam Dynasty Warriors. I do like the Gundam Dynasty Warriors. I was hyped for that too. There's three Gundam Dynasty Warriors now. Tis named Chaos Legion. Come see the hidden truth of this world. Alright, so summon. Summoning like turns everybody into one frame per second. Which is just crazy. Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? Summoning is uh is OP. Summoning is pretty OP. I should have saved it for when I go over here. Now, these guys are way harder than the other guy. Chaos Legion. I wish they had some kind of roll attack or something to dodge. L2 and R2 don't do anything in this game. Just do this again, huh? It kind of hurts the ears also, you know? Yeah. Okay. Boss fight time? Uh, some kind of boss over here. I don't know what this is. Like I said, guys, this was the era of whatever game Capcom wanted to make, they were going to make it. Yo, Marv showing that VG so time, that VJ. Yeah, facts, bro. Do it again. I like how the characters move in 60 frames, but then all the enemies are like one frame. God hand. <laughs> I probably should have played God hand. Nah, it's too popular. DX made DX made God hand too popular. All right, I think I'm done with this game. Pretty much this game doesn't have a lot going on for it, except for the fact that the cutscene is kind of silly in the beginning. But apparently that's Taco's native tongue. Yeah, nah, this is a hidden gem. This game is dope. If you guys ever, if you guys ever want to play a really hidden gem, Chaos Legion is pretty dope. Uh, this is kind of like Devil May Cry mixed with summoning, mixed with like a little bit of Dynasty Warriors. It doesn't have all the DMC stuff like like roll up, rolling and dodging attacks you just have to rely on your summonings a lot which ain't a bad thing but it it it, it, it like if they would have made a part two i think it would have kept the ball rolling uh next after the ps2 we're on to the gamecube because i don't have the xbox emulator i don't even know if the xbox emulator works and i didn't have a game in mind for the gamecube for hidden gems but i'm gonna go down the list and see what sticks out to me if you guys have any hidden gems for GameCube, Evolution Worlds. Evolution Worlds might be good. Gotcha Force, but that's another Capcom game. <laughs> I don't want to just suck Capcom's dick this whole night. Ikaruga. You guys ever play Ikaruga? Um, no Nintendo games. Nobody give me a game made by Nintendo. Nothing made by Nintendo is a hidden gem. Unless it's like Odama or something. PNO3, that was a GameCube hidden gem, even though it's not that good, but. Yo, GameCube hidden gem, Simpsons. Come on, Taco. Simpsons hidden run is a hidden gem. Everybody loves Simpsons hidden run. Give me a game nobody but you knows about. Virtual Quest? Sega game where we can break the Capcom streak? Um. 
Yo, um, honestly, <laughs> damn, I hate to do this, but we might have to play another Capcom game. Simpsons was PG-13 GZ GTA. Yeah, everybody knows about Simpsons and Run. If anything, that's a cult classic now. Or we can go Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, which is Sega. To break the streak with Sega. Club Penguin, <laughs> EPF, Herbert's Revenge for the Nintendo DS. What is that? That sounds like a hidden giant. I've never heard of that game. Oh, hell yeah. HNR is like a classic. Hmm. Yes, or something only I played. <laughs> okay. We could play a JRPG like uh, Evolution Worlds, which is made by Sega. And that'll be a non Capcom game. Or we can play Gotcha Force. Ikaruga. Man, Ikaruga is a dope game. But I would. Uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Master of the Monster Lair for DS. This might be the last game we play tonight, so let's make it a let's go out in a bang. Mystic Heroes. Mystic Heroes was interesting. Okami. Nah, everybody knows about Okami. Riger. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a Wii game. Guys of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia was dope. Sonic Unleashed. Nah. <laughs> Chill. I'm just listing games only I played at this point. Yeah, we're talking about GameCube games though. Okay, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. That's for Wii. All right. How about Auto Modelista? When was the last time we played a freaking racing game on here? Tecmo Secrets of the Stars. That's not for GameCube either, silly. Hmm. Wait, you guys ever played Bloody Roar? Bloody Roar. Auto Modelista? Auto Modelista. We could play that. The only thing is, it's another Capcom game. So this night is officially Capcom night. Yo, Bloody Roar. I played every fighting, or at least 90% of it, or all. You go the wolf. There's another game I've heard of, never seen. Bloody Roar? All right. It seems like Bloody Roar gets the win. Let me tell you guys something, man. Bloody Roar was dope on PS1, but I think the GameCube has the best Bloody Roar game. Definitely has the best. This is the best Bloody Roar game. Without a doubt for me. Without a doubt. No, this is, this is like Bloody Roar three and a half, I guess. This is the only thing I don't like about it. Seeing an Activision logo makes me not like this game. But also, this is when Activision wasn't that bad yet. Yo, is it a crime that this isn't around anymore? Hell yeah, it's a crime. Yo, it's a huge crime. It's a motherfucking tragedy. Shakespearean tragedy. Yup. The next one after Bloody Roar 3 before 4. Weapon Lord was kick ass, dude. I love this game. I love the music. I love the fucking characters. I love the anime cutscenes. Transformations. I love Bloody Roar. Bring it back. Bloody Roar is not that. Fun fact, Big Daddy Alachad has this for GameCube. He would. He would. Alachad would have this game. Yo, even that the, the anime doesn't even look that pixelated. It doesn't look bad. Hugo the Wolf, or Hugo, is it Hugo or Hugo? I don't know, it's Hugo, right? This game is dope. This is a really, really dope game. Create save data, yeah. 
And I'm kind of proud that the GameCube got the best version of Bloody Roar. We're going to play with Yugo. It's because he looks so badass. Look at him. He's got little shorts, little biker sleeves. How do you change costume? Why? What's the Y button? Oh, that, that costume sucks. <laughs> We're going back to this. Uh, unlimited rounds two. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I still remember this game a lot. Flame sleeves. Flame sleeves are dope. During the age of feuding between humans and xanathorps, oh yeah, xanathorps are the animal people, a new kingdom was born. Founded upon a dream of peace and equality for humans and xanathorps. This is new land attracted scores of xanathorps from far and wide. However, the kingdom was young and relied heavily upon its xanathorps army for security and on its special brigade uh of xanathorp mercenaries for income even more troublesome for the infant nation were rumors of cruel experiments being carried out by xanathorps to uncover i can't this is a lot of reading i'm not reading this shit <laughs> xano devil fruit users god of the tiger or was he a lion i think he was a lion i don't know we'll fight him we'll see should have scrolled. Oh man, now, now I gotta reset the game. All right, we're gonna scroll through the characters. He's right. I, I did want to see all the characters. We should have scrolled through all the characters. All right. Let me see. Hopefully, there's no time limit. No, no, no. Press B. I think there is a time limit. Maybe training. Okay, so we got Hugo. He's the main character. He's the Ryu of this jazz, right? Oh, what the hell? You gonna pick one character? You got Alice. She's a bunny. Um, let me see her other costume. She got a snow bunny costume. We got ba Baku Ryu. Baku Ryu. Baku Ryu. He's a mole. He dresses up like Bruce Lee in his other costume. Hashtag hello nurse. Commit. We got... Busuzima the chameleon. Oh, he got a Kuji sweater. Living better now. Kuji sweater now. Kuji sweater. Uh, Gato is definitely a lion. He's got the army look to him. Um, Jenny the bat. She's pretty much the, t the Mai, the titty girl of this game. Her titties are crazy huge. We got Long the Tiger, who does Kung Fu, right? He looks like a Kung Fu guy. We got Shenlong the Tiger. I think they're brothers. Shenlong's pretty cool. Jenny the Bat. <laughs> bat, I mean bat. <laughs> She's the reason we got the coronavirus. <laughs> People got too horny for her. Then we got uh, Shino Sheena the Leopard. She's pretty cool, too. She has, like, the uh, biker look also. I see everybody looks like a biker in this game. Hey, so you know what Hellfire tastes like? I don't know. What does it taste like? Bats? We got Stun the Insect. He looks like... He looks like... I don't know what. He looks like a Digimon. No, he looks like freaking... He looks like freaking... I don't know what. He looks like... Kimari or something. That alien dude is from 4, right? I, I don't know. I don't know, I'll be honest. Yeah, you missed my first comment. I was doing a bit. Uh, so I was going to try something. Habanero's peppers make you go out too hot. And it makes you go out too cold. I'm going to try both to see if they cancel each other out. Hey, so you know what Hellfire tastes like. Oh, that's a good, that's a good experiment. We got... Yuriko, the half beast. She's just a cat. I don't know why they call it half beast. She's a cat. She's a kitty. Shion, who is Dante. This guy's pretty much Dante and Sephiroth put together. He he he's kind of like the Nomura character. He has all the belts. And then you know Hugo, because Japan Japan Nico Jazz. Okay, so um, now we're going to play the actual game. Wow, this game came out in 2002. 
she uh Zeon is an the alien dude. Is he? Okay. Oh, I like the stage. Oh, she's the cat girl. This game is kind of like a two button fighter. There's only a punch kick button and then a transformation button. Oh, there's a grab button too. I'm a wolf now. I'm a wolf. Also that bit from Tumblr, please don't sh shove my butthole and acid for being bad at comedy. Specials are like Marvel vs. Capcom quarter circle. Oh, they have ring outs too. I kicked her ass, man. All right, so uh, she's a. Uh, this is the first fight. It's gonna be easy. Yo, but you can combo if you got the skill. I remember in the credits they show some crazy combos. Let's see. Damn, he already transformed. What the hell? Come on, talk to me nice, bro. Yeah, you bite their necks off. I think he isn't in Vanilla 3, but in 4. Yo, Gian is the alien looking dude. There you go. That's how you do supers. Super did hella damage. Holy crap. Tackle. I played BR4 in arcades. Damn, they had that in arcades? I thought arcades were gone by the time BR4 came out. Oh, this guy's kind of difficult, right? Yeah, he's kind of tough. I like the stage, though. I like the train passing by. Damn, people would transform fast as hell. What the hell, man? Oh, damn, he already did super on me, huh? Yeah, this guy gives me work. Damn, transformed twice in one fight? There you go. Talk to me nice, bro. My RK still exists and some machines are uh, are them Pandora crap machines. Uh, they have every game on them, right? This guy does a lot. Of Holy crap. All right, Kung Fu Bill. Buy you Billy. Damn, missed it. Oh, crap. A human again. There you go. I like Hugo because he has like a, a boxing style. You win. I'm not done yet. Your lips did not match. Yeah, not as cool. And sometimes you can notice a difference in audio. Specifically when someone plays the same game side by side. Yeah. Bakuyo is a cool character. He's the shinobi of this game. Bakuryu, actually. I don't know what the fuck his name is. He's a mole. Yeah, I know he's a mole, but... 
He's a nin he's a shinobi also, or ninja, whatever you want to call it. Alright, he's extra super special right now. Oh, he did a ninja thing on me. Gotcha, baby. Talk to me nice. Bloody Roar, Shinobi equals Ninja, same thing. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Same jazz. Oh, my girlfriend. She's a biker also. Oh, damn, she did a rest. Oh, yo, she did a wrestling move. Damn. Hella stun on that. Okay. Leopard lady. Oh, I blocked it. She's about to beat me. Hold up. Hold on, lady. You're, you're bugging right now. I can't lose to this lady. Sorry, Karen. Down you go, darling. I think there's another super, too. I think you can do two supers. Is there taco? There's two. There's two supers per characters, right? Yeah, how would taco know? I just assume taco knows everything. I don't think taco would know. Taco knows everything, bro. Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I meant to ask Alucard. I was just trying to make it look like I was trying to ask Taco. <laughs> I think fighting games is the only thing Taco doesn't really know about. Except for like Guilty Gear, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. He's got a bob and weave? That's dope. How do I bob and weave like that? Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome. That's going to come in handy. Okay, buddy. My entire knowledge of fighting comes from the other quarter guy, from the quarter guy. Never heard of him, but he sounds cool. Oh, this guy's a wrestler. You need big daddy top hat knowledge. Oh, wow. I actually lost a round. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even realize I was down on that one. Oh, wait a minute. I'm totally not using all the moves at my disposal right now. Okay. I don't want to lose this, so. Can you just be nice to me? Damn. Okay. All right. I've lost the match. Hold up. It ain't over. I hate this, this little stage, too. Round one. Get ready. This guy does a Tatsumaki. I didn't even know he did a Tatsumaki. Holy crap. In all my years of playing this game, I didn't know he had a Tatsu. Damn it, missed it. I mean, they only have one. Ew, no. Yeah, definitely only one.
This guy's pretty tough, man. There you go. Oh, there's a second super. It, it's a human super. They have a human super and a uh, beast super. Okay, okay, okay. So, no, they have two Alucard. Oh, but then there's also a second phase of their... Okay. I forgot this. Oh, he's gonna freaking chop my head off, man. Damn it. I'm gonna have beast change. Oh, really, dude? All right, this guy's giving me work now. This guy's giving me the work now, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let, let's see. Let's try that again. I don't like when people give me the work. Come on, talk to me nice, bro. I warned you not to mess with me. Gotta space them out and stuff. There you go. I like the simplicity of this game and I like I like the character design most. The characters are like more detailed than like Dead or Alive. Damn it. Okay, buddy. You mess with the wrong wolf. Got him. Damn it. Oh crap, he grabbed me. Oh, that kind of hurt, bro. And he stomped me. They only have one beast drive and one secret drive. Okay. I see. Damn, he goes for a low kick, bro. All right, this guy's pretty tough. Yo, are you blocking everything, man? What the hell? All right, I'm tired of this guy. Hold up, man. You're pissing me off. Oh, damn, man. He did a leg drop on me. Got him. Taco, you a F.E. Tres Casa meme. Oh, wow, wow. I've been sitting here reading Three Houses memes the whole time, by the way. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Oh, this is a secret character, right? Ganesha. I forgot you could sidestep, too. You gotta sidestep attack sometimes. Damn, he, yo, he's wrecking me, bro. And he got super elephant transformation. Damn, he got me. Yeah, well, you smell a smeg. Ew, smeg, ew. My jaw was missing for a second there. Damn it, missed it. Well, I was gonna miss it anyway. There you go. Talk to me nice. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. It's just the first insult the kingdom had. Ew, smack. Ew. Ah, 
Ouch. Ouch, get off me. Got him. It's over. Down you go, darling. I think the last boss is a naked lady, right? The final boss in this game is a naked lady, right? Not that I want to fight a naked lady, but... Oh, no, it's this guy. He's a, he's a penguin. This guy's pretty tough from what I can remember. I remember I had everybody unlocked this. Oh, yeah, he's a penguin. And he has a small hitbox. Whenever you see a little enemy in a fighting game, beware. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a dope. That is a dope. That is a dope. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Have you seen Alucard? <laughs> the alternative was cleaning Alucard 7 billion bajos. Oh my god, the thought of that is disturbing. Round two. Get ready. Fight. Oh no, he's got penguin form. Oh, the gates are broken too. Oh man, we didn't go to that highway stage that I like. Oh no. Damn it. I can't fight this guy when he's this small. And he got me. I'm probably dead. Yeah, down you go, darling. The reason why my chin why Chin is my favorite character. Also, he is a slow character, which never which nerve wrecks so many players. Yeah, slow characters definitely nerve wreck people. Ouch. Come on, buddy. Hate when he goes into this little baby dragon form. Penguin form, I mean. Can't hit him. It's like really difficult to hit him. Ah, come on, dude. Okay, my turn. Come on. Shit, come on. Shit, I'm dying. Oh, he's got me. Ah, he got me. And Bono, Bao from KOF. 9920 said he's his owner and small character. He was kind of broken in 99. Bao? Damn it. Come on, broski. Is he the final boss? I don't know if this guy's really the final boss or not. I remember it being a girl. Kronos. I gotta look at expert level gameplay for this. He's pretty good though, I'll give him that. He's pretty good. That's right, I can charge people out, right? Oh, he got me. I don't even want to see it. Team Psycho Soldier. Oh, I know who you're talking about now. Let's go. Final 
Round three. Come on. All right, dancing guy. You want to dance? Where are you going? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, he can turn into another form. I figured he could do that. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Get out of your beast form, bro. He turned into a freaking Lord Penguin over here. Fucking Gunther. Oh, no, you're not beating me. Freaking Gunther over here, bro. I think he's the final boss. Is there somebody after him? Nah, he's the end. They show these anime cutscenes at the end, but then there's no voice acting, which kind of, kind of, kind of defeats the purpose, right? Get up and show me what you got, Kronos. Uh, no, uh, people are shooting me. Oh, hey, hey, hey don't kid him. Thanks, God, I'll leave this to me. I'm Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, don't shoot. If they're gonna fight one on one, hey. Oh, they're gonna fight, except they don't show it. Hey, I guess I won the fight because I'm still here on a motorcycle. So I'm gonna drive away now. Let the credits roll to see if we got combo videos. I don't think they got combo videos, do they? This is a very fighting game anime vibe. No, they show they show anime at the end. They don't show combo videos. Oh, they did in the arcades. Well, guess what, Alucard? This ain't the arcades, bro. Or is it? Yeah, this this uh. I will admit, I like that this game has anime cutscenes, but. Why the fuck doesn't it have voice acting? <laughs> why did they put, uh, why did they put anime without voice acting? Even you could have left the Japanese voices. Don't break my bubble. You could have left the Japanese voice acting if it was like if if it was a translation thing, or you couldn't afford American voice actors. A lot of games around this era just had the Japanese voices for fighting games. Cause I think this, the enemies in this, the, 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 the finale, some of them are really dope. So having text with, with anime is like weird, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's cause I don't like to read. Maybe it's just cause I don't like to read, I guess. Did I unlock somebody? You can now, un you've unlocked Geisha, Ganesha in the Indian stage. You unlocked the movie player. So, I'm not going to break your bubble, Alucard. Alucard. They fucked up the game with no combo videos. I think... I think if you beat a different version of... I think if you beat... Time Trials or Survival, maybe you get it. Well, it's definitely not in the movie player. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Yo, man, things change, and that's the way it is. I'll look up. I'll look it up on YouTube. Or knowing you, you'll probably send me a whole bunch of combo videos tomorrow morning. So when I wake up, that's the first thing I'm I'm gonna see. But uh, yeah, man, that's Emulator Emulator Madness today. It almost became Capcom Madness, but uh. I think we were able to find different games to switch it up and not just make it a Capcom show. But uh, that's the stream tonight, man. Now the question is, what we're we gonna stream tomorrow?
Bloody Roar is ruined forever. Capcom and Fred Madness. I don't know. We'll do a Capcom Madness later. Uh, yeah, we probably will. It's not like we're gonna ever run out of Capcom games. We'll definitely pick uh, Demon's Crest on the uh, Capcom Madness. Demon's Crest. Uh, shit, there's so many to play. So many to pick from, from every console. Uh, maybe next week I'll get the, the Saturn emulator working properly and we can do Saturn Madness. Everything on the Saturn is a freaking hidden gem. Yeah, we would have to play Demon's Crest, which I suck at. That's the only bad part. Demon Crest is hard as shit, man. Yo, Demon Crest is so like I feel like Demon Crest makes ghosts and ghouls seem like baby food. I really do. Yeah, Demon Crest is super fucking pog. Like, oh my god, Demon Crest is hard. But we'll play it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not gonna miss it. I'm gonna get far in the game, but we'll play it. And that's that's a very rare SNES game. And now it's on the Switch if for free if you have the online thing. But yeah, guys, that's the stream today. Emulator Madness. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna stream tomorrow or the next day. I gotta find a new game to play because, uh, shit. It's, uh, Demon's Crest? No, nah, I'm not playing Demon's Crest tomorrow. Marv's Crest. Marv's Crest. Uh, maybe. No, uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna stream. I got, I got PS, PS Now. I got it for no reason. Maybe I'll start playing God of War 3. Star Crest. I'll start playing God of War 3 since that's the only God of War I haven't played. And it seems to be the most epic one, so. Uh, shit. Maybe tomorrow we'll do that. Yo, Dova, long time no see, bro. Bravery up. Mars Rich with PS Now money. I got PS Now for a year because I thought it was PS Plus. I was wrong. It was like, hey, PS Now is on sale, 40 bucks for a year. And I was like, yo, I can get internet for 40 bucks for the whole year? I mean, PSN? I was wrong. I'll talk to you next one. Take care of yourself. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Never say game over. Hra. Yo, Dova, I'm doing well, bro. I'm. I, you just missed the stream. I'm about to end it right now. But I hope you're doing well, my friend. I hope you're kicking ass still. Um, I gotta go. I gotta get something to eat. I'm fucking starving. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Maybe with some, maybe with some God of War. I don't know. But GGs, guys. Stay brave and never say game over. Peace.